Pam 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 parlaram parum pa. Pam 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 parum pam puraru raru baru raru. Pam 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 parlaru raru tu nu. I'm on Isle Delfino. I gotta make it clean, oh. Because it's all filthy as sin. Hello, my close personal friends. Welcome to Relax with Max. I'm your host, Max. That's me. I'm the guy from the title. Can you believe it? What an honor. What an honor for you guys getting to meet me, the guy from the title. Max Relaxington himself. That's my full name, by the way. Max Relaxington. Don't know if you knew that. Now, I do have a little bit of bad news. Um, my last video, my last, uh, my last Omori stream video got content ID'd because I sang that song at the beginning. You know, I sang when a moon, when the moon, when the moon, the moon itself hits your eye like a big pizza pie. That's Omori. Sang that song. Got content ID'd, uh, so now profit sharing is turned on for that video. I don't know what the split is. I just know that... Well, I guess... I guess the super chats probably 100% go to me. And I guess I still probably have all the ad rev... Um... From when it was live, and when people were watching it live. But I guess, um... I guess now that it's in VOD form, I have to split the profits with... Whoever owns that song. The reason that this is a bummer <laughs> is because uh, I, I, I like singing karaoke, and you guys seem to like hearing me sing karaoke. And I was kind of hoping to incorporate a lot of karaoke into Relax with Max. It's something that I really enjoy doing. Um, the version of that song that I was singing to was a karaoke version that I found on YouTube. So naturally I'm assuming, oh, well this is probably fine. This isn't gonna get me content ID'd, but then it did. Um, so this might, <laughs> this might mean something bad for the future of me singing on Relax with Max. I hate to say it. I don't know if I can do a whole lot of karaoke anymore. I don't know if it's safe. You know? Trying to make money here. I got bills to pay you guys. Can't be throwing money away on getting content hey, I need. Max. Hi. You are a fave kissable little tyrant. Wah. You have inspired me to start streaming after you are 10 years of service. Oh. And then doing my first tonight. <laughs> well, good luck. I hope it goes well for you. I'm not some kind of streaming expert myself, but I'm glad to have inspired you. Um... Or rather, I'm glad to have inspired you if the inspiration leads you somewhere good. Because people all the time are telling me that I inspire them. And I'm, al I'm always like, mm, I hope that whatever I I've inspired you towards is going to bring your life in a better direction and not a worse direction, if you know, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh... But thank you. Thank you for the super chat. And thank you for joining us today. I was unfortunately just telling everybody about how, uh... Me, me singing my little songs here on the streams... That might not be, a Might not be the best idea. It might not be the good idea that I thought it was, unfortunately. Oh, this real world. This brave new world. Oh, this brave new world! This brave new world that has such people in it. Now, I want to make some real progress in Omori today. So I wrote down some notes here. Happy beats angry, angry beats sad, sad beats happy. Status effects for happy, luck up, speed up, hit rate down. Status effects for angry, attack up, defense down. Status effects for sad, defense up, speed down, and some damage to heart goes to juice. Meaning that instead of losing hearts, heart, 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 bar, heart, heart number, whatever you want to call it, instead of, instead of losing heart meter, you will lose juice meter. Um. 
I also have it written, Hero is the healer, so I need to use him for healing. What do you mean you are not an expert? You've been doing this for ten years. You can do something for ten years and still not be an expert on it. I mean, think about how long you've been alive for. Would you say you're an expert on life? Probably not. <laughs> Who would say that they're an expert on life? How long do you have to live before you're an expert on life? You know? Think about it. Um... Hero is the healer. Kel can annoy characters to anger. Omori makes characters sad with sad poetry. All that I don't know is what I can do to make characters happy. I'm assuming it's Aubrey who does that somehow. I'm gonna have to check. I'm gonna have to write it down when I figure it out. I'm hoping that it's not super necessary. Yo, Max, it's badass boy. Hey, what's up? Sorry to hear that news. I've been having a rough Monday, but you oh. always make Mondays so much more bearable. Just seeing the stream go live makes me feel better. Hey, there you go. I'll watch when I'm home. Thank you See for joining you us. Thank you for joining us and thank you for the super chat. I appreciate having you here. Does Max read these chats? Yeah, sometimes. I can't promise that I'll look at the chat if I'm really engrossed in the game I'm playing, though. Um, yeah, I, I'm guessing Aubrey is what... Aubrey is how you make characters happy. I'm hoping that I don't have to remember the different status effects for happy, angry, and sad. I'm hoping that all I need to remember is that happy beats angry, angry beats sad, and sad beats happy. Because when you factor in all of the status effects, it adds up to a lot. And I, I don't want to get that tactical with this bullshit. I want it to be relatively straightforward. But... Um... I also don't want to waste time today. So... Let's get into it. Let's get right into our prayer. No time wasted today. Hey, ain't no time like the present. They always say, ain't no time like the present. Oh, and I just got another super chat. Well, you know what? That's all right. By the way, I like your milk carton with basil on it. Yep, we're gonna leave the milk carton up today until we find basil. Until we bring that little boy home, the milk carton stays up. We're gonna find that boy. We're gonna... We're gonna find that boy. We're gonna find that boy. We gotta bring that boy home. How's Goofball and Burnbot? Goofball is dead. I'm sorry, but Goofball is dead. Please, please shit can the super chats for now. We have a prayer to say, though. Everybody, please bow your heads and clasp your hands. You don't have to close your eyes, but if you feel it helps, go for it. Dear Relaxus, please help to relax us. Help us to sit back, unwind, unstress, decompress, breathe easy, hang loose, cool off, loosen up, and simmer down. Please bless us with mellow moods and chill vibes as we hang out, shoot the shit, and just straight kick it. Give us the strength to ignore politics, drama, and the tragedies of our modern world, and grant us the serenity to forgive those on social media who post things that make us triggered, upset, and emotionally compromised. <laughs> Additionally, Relaxus, please be with Basil in his hour of need. He's lost and probably scared. And maybe you can help to bring him some serenity in these trying times. And help us to find Basil today. Help us to bring that little boy home safe. And as always, help me to wish harmony to those who wish harm on me. Amen. Let's finish off our prayer by doing some square breathing. This is when you inhale and outhale at similar intervals. Inhale and outhale at similar intervals. Yeah, that's right. That's correct. <laughs> we're going to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth, and we're going to do a count of eight. If you can't breathe through your nose, through your nose, excuse me, using your mouth is fine too. <laughs> Starting off, in through the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once more, in through the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. And out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> now, doesn't that feel better? Do you not feel the relaxation moving through you? We need this relaxation now more than ever, as long as that poor little boy is still missing. As long as we're all still stressed about his safety. It's harrowing. We're in a harrowing position. Who knows what has befallen that boy? He could be getting tortured as we speak. He, he could be getting the bamboo under the fingernails and everything. They could be putting little cigarettes out on his little head. Bending his little fingers back till they, <laughs> till they break. Pushing him down a flight of stairs. Who knows? I think somebody falls down the stairs in this game. That's a theory I have. Here's the big theory I have, right? Can I tell you my big Omori theory? And I'm pretty confident in this. You guys obviously can't tell me if I'm right or wrong, because if I'm right and you tell me, that's a spoiler. But my theory is... Uh, Pukis, who is actually Omori. Pukis and Omori are the same character. Um, but in the real world, Pukis and Basil are gay. They're two little gay boys. And their homophobic parents say, You're not allowed to be gay! Of course you can't be little gay boys! And then maybe... Basil kills himself, or Basil stabs somebody, or something tragic happens to Basil. This is my theory. But I, th I think there's definitely a romance between Omori and Basil. But they're not allowed to be gay. The world just won't let their love exist. It's really weird because they're children. Um, but maybe you can do a, a gay love Hello, my story good between children. Friend, Max Relaxington. Hi. I would like to request the platforming game Celeste for a stream. Thank uh, you for helping to Unfortunately, I've already played it. Us. Thank you for the super chat, but I've played it before. I don't want to I don't want to stream myself playing a game I've already experienced. But yeah, that's my big theory. Now, maybe you can do a a, a gay story between two boys that's like kind of innocent. I don't know. We'll find out. You know, that's if my theory is correct. But I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident in this theory. We're gonna find out. Let's find out together. Oh! Oh, shoot! Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! What is this? AI generated images of Sonic the Hedgehog on my desktop? Well, I guess it's more likely than you think. Thanks for everything, King. Your work is a gift. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat, and thank you for joining us today. It looks like there's only four, so we should be able to bang these out pretty quick. Um, first hey, Sonic Max, of the day. I just wanted to say your streams have been nothing but an immaculately therapeutic experience for me oh, to just let you. go and put my struggles aside for the day. Keep spreading good vibes among us. I will. They're so therapeutic, you can finally fire your therapist, who's not helping you anyway. I think we all know your therapist you is not helping you. You guessed the entire plot. Might as well stop. <laughs> Hope you are doing well, Max. Well, we'll see. We'll love see. Love you. Love. Thank you. I love you, too. We'll see. Listen, we all know your therapist isn't helping you. You're wasting money on that therapist. It's time to stop going in. It's time to tell that guy to fuck off. Time to tell him you're a charlatan. You're, you're, you're just, you know, you're taking me for a ride here. You never make me feel, <laughs> feel any better. <laughs> if you think your therapist is helping, then I'm joking. Don't stop going to therapy if you think that it's helping. Uh, this is a cute Sonic. This is a very cute Sonic. I love his bow tie. I love his red hat. I love, <laughs> I love his hamburger on a plate. This is great. It's an incredibly blurry image, and I don't know why. And the sky is, like, literally the exact same color as his fur. 
and he kind of, you know, he's just kind of like blending into the background here. Other than that, this is a great Sonic. I love it. So, in with the cool Sonics he goes. Nope, not cool. The cute. In, in with the cute Sonics he goes. Boy, that was close. Next up. We have some kind of a monster Sonic. And he appears to have a camera lens on his belly? Or is that an eyeball? I'm not sure. My first thought was that's a camera lens. He's got a big veiny eyeball. Oh my gosh. I do enjoy this Sonic. His arms are just veins. His arms are just threads. This is a symbiote Sonic. This is a Sonic comprised of disconnected molecules. Just trying to recreate the form that we recognize as Sonic without truly... without truly <laughs> na <laughs> nailing down the image. It's a weird Sonic. So into the weird folder. I think it'll fit in well with the weird Sonics. Next up. Oh my god. Oh my god! This Sonic! This Sonic! This is a great Sonic. <laughs> I love it. He's got the bling. He's got the cool threads. He's got the cool hat. He's just chilling in his hood. He's got a tiny little bit of a pupil <laughs> sticking out in between his sunglasses. That's the only, uh... It's the only imperfection that this Sonic has. Now his proportions are very, very cute. Undeniably. But, if you were to ask me, I think this Sonic is cooler than it is cute. This is one of the coolest Sonics I've seen. I really like it. I'm gonna put that in with the cool Sonics, I think. Last Sonic of the day! I need to turn that song down, actually. It's a little too loud. Here we have Sonic evading the police. Um, this is a really cool image. He must have done something illegal, or is in the process- Well, no, he's definitely in the process of doing something illegal. He's resisting arrest. He's running from the police. That's an illegal thing. You're not allowed to do that. So this is Sonic literally in the act of doing something illegal. Um... <laughs> police on a hilariously tiny bike. <laughs> yeah. Although Sonic is like the perfect size for his bike. Um... I was looking at this image earlier. Now this is maybe going to seem a little unorthodox. Because the obvious answer is that this is an illegal Sonic. Because he's doing something illegal. You're not supposed to run from the cops. But! That is a really, really, <laughs> really cool motorcycle thingy that he has. That is such a cool motorcycle thingy. And the image is just so cool overall. He's doing something illegal, but the image is more cool than it is illegal. I think in this image, cool trumps illegal. You know, he's telling the man, he's telling, he's telling the establishment, hey, you know, you can shove it. You can stick it. Stick it where the sun don't shine. He is literally so cool. He is so damn cool that his illegal activity is entirely excused. And so for that, and so for that, he finds a home in with the cool Sonics. And now look at this. Spick and span, neat, clean, tidy, and trim. A clean desktop is a happy desktop. 
We do have a Mori to get into, though. And guess what? I made an overlay. Because I was watching the VOD and I noticed that the chat was intersecting with the game in a really, really, really unsatisfying way. Oh, I got a message on Steam. I usually don't get messages on Steam. Love you, Max. Hope you're doing well today. I appreciate all that you do so much. Your streams are always a pleasure to watch when I can catch them. And the value of your heart... <laughs> the value of my heart shines through your work. You've helped me come back to animation and start believing again. Oh, that's weird because I don't believe. And I just wanted to thank you for that. Well, you know, you're welcome. Thank you for the kind words. I Max, don't look know. out, there's a scary monster behind you. No, there's not. Shush. It's very scary. Look out. Oh, like, shush. actually, look shush, behind shush, you. Shush. It's very scary. You're scary. Your face is scary. Maybe you're looking in a, <laughs> looking in a mirror. <laughs> Man, the value of my heart? What is the value of my heart? I didn't even realize that my heart had value. You guys are talking about the value of my heart? You like my overlay? It's not bad. I'm going to turn this to negative 11. That should be loud enough. Depictions of depression, anxiety, suicide, all my favorites, all the good ones. Actually, and you know what else I'm going to do? So I'm going to take Goofball... And I am going to move him slightly. I know you guys all freak out when I get rid of Goofball permanently. So we're just going to move him slightly so you can still see his face. We're going to put him right there. And you know what? Just so you can see more, more of the overlay, we're going to move the table he's on as well. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. Don't get your panties in a bunch. I need my comfort character goofball. I need him. I need him. Unless I see my comfort character, how else am I supposed to eat my nuggies? It's me. It's me doing an impression of you guys. Did I hit new game? Oh fuck. I think I hit new game. All right, hang on. <laughs> Everybody talk amongst yourselves. Once more, once more from the top. There we go. Please don't get rid of Goofball. I need him. I need my comfort character while I sit in my Cookie Monster footy pajamas. Continue. There we go. <sighs> To bring you guys up to speed, we are in some kind of weird space world. And we're looking for our friend Basil. And we're not gonna stop until we find him. We're gonna find this little boy today. We're gonna bring him home safe. A floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. Okay, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that Hero and Marie are like teenagers. Um, and all the other characters are like younger kids, so all the other characters are maybe like. When I was like, twelve, my mom found your videos in my search history and screamed at me because she thought I was gay. <laughs> she thought you were gay. What video did I make that made her think you were gay? Did I make a gay video when you were twelve? And also, you should have said, "Mom, don't be homophobic. If I'm gay, that's my choice. Can't you see I'm trying to choose to be gay, Mom?" S'mores. S'more, s'mores, please. Heals 50 hearts. Uh, that could be useful. Do you have anything cheaper? Hey, Max. Hey. Is it finally Milk Mondays? Cheers to my one and only favorite gamer girl I pay for. <laughs> I'm not a Love girl. Maxi baby. You can call me a catboy gamer. Poo -poo. Ha ha he he. Ha ha he he. Gobble gobble. Gobble gobble. Lolly lulu lo. Lolly lolly lolly. 200 characters. video could I have made that made your mom think you were gay? Your homophobic mother. Carbonated hell sludge heals 25% of juice. I don't think I've gotten close to running out of juice once. 
So I don't think I'm gonna buy anything for juice restoration just yet. I don't think that's necessary. Rubber band deals damage to a foe and reduces their defense. Eh. Sparkler. Little fires inflict happy on a friend or foe. Um, life jam. Infused with the spirit of life! Revives a friend that is toast. That could be useful, but they're super expensive. So I'm going to buy two s'mores and one heals 20 juice to all friends. No, I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy two s'mores and one cherry soda. And we're gonna say that's gonna be good for now. Oh, Omori. Cliff-faced as usual, I see. You should totally smile more. I've always liked your smile. Alright, kinda weird. So, do you need me to help you with anything? All it costs is your love. Um... Hector? Do we know somebody named Hector? Dang, Kel's pet rock, Hector. Hector is the pet rock! Fell out of his pocket. Sorry, Kel. I'm not sure where he is, but don't give up. We don't care. We don't, we don't care about a rock. I hope to have helped just a little. I'll be here if you need me. Let's save. Okay. Now we just got to this area, so let's start off by taking a look around. It's at times like this that I am reminded that our universe is beautiful. Hi, Max. Hello. I've been a fan of yours ever since Brain Dump. I'm curious, is there a video you back on and wish you could have done differently? Stay cool. A video I wish I could have done differently. Um... You know, I was looking at a piece hey, Maxie, of- Hey, been watching your stuff for a bit, and you've helped me be happy again. Oh. Love you. If only I could do the same thing for myself. Thank you for the super chat. I was looking at uh, the fan art from Fan Art Friday last week, and- I am Max. Yes? I wish I could watch the stream, but I'm stuck at work. Oh, that's okay. Don't I did worry. want to ask, have you ever seen the Rocky Horror Picture Show? Of course. It's my favorite. It's pretty good, yeah. It's got some great music. Uh, the fan art from last week's Fan Art Friday, there's a- there's- There was a piece of fan art from the scene where I'm choking Goofball on the kitchen floor. And as I was looking at that piece of fan art, I was like, Damn, this fan art has better colors than the actual colors in the real scene. And now I wish I had this person there to be like my color stylist while I was making that scene. Because they got the colors better than I did. So I guess that's one example. Zarf! Mm, so many humans today. You guys are always such big fans of space travel. Why, yes, we are. Gumbo, happy. Hey, good for you, Gumbo. Vending machine. Buy a tasty soda for 100 clams? Uh, that's an expensive soda. I think I'll pass. I'm not made of money. Transportation station. It doesn't seem to be in service. All right, we'll come back to that. Ooh, I want to get over to that big TV. Other world campsite. Cat Cattail Field? This is Cattail Field over here. Uh, I don't want to go this way yet. Not yet! Let me try going north first. Hey Max! I'm Hello. paying you ten dollars to tell you to please move the mouse's cursor. Alright. Thank you! Okay, okay. <laughs> Anything for you kids. I would never want to do anything that would annoy you. Ah, crap! I forgot my camera at home! What's a good camping trick, trip if I can't take any pictures? Yeah, that's that's true, I guess. You want to be able to, to save those memories. Hello. Sorry to bother you. Have you seen my son anywhere? We're already looking for someone. We looked away for less than a second, and he's gone and ran off again. Max, please play SCP Security Breach. I'm already playing something. It's so good. Maybe for a Wicked Wednesday, I'll play that. You're not playing horror games on Monday. Could you keep an eye out for me? You'll know when you see him. He looks just like me, haha. Huh? Junior just doesn't know how to stay put. All he wants to do is go outside. Alright, so now... 
In addition to looking for basil, we're also looking for a missing rabbit. Can I talk to this dragon? Nope. Hello. I'm Smol, the world's smallest centaur. Look at all of my awards. Most horse, second place. I'm guessing you I'm guessing you lost to somebody who's hey, just Max. a complete horse. Just curious, how many hours do you have on TF2? Love you, man. I have... Three hundred four, three hundred and forty-four hours. Three hundred and forty-four point seven hours in TF2. I've seen people who have thousands of hours in TF2. So I don't know if 344 is a lot, but I think that's more than I've put in any other game. I don't think I've ever played any game more than TF2. Tiniest Centaur, first place. I can't walk past you. Miniest Centaur, first place. Smallest Centaur, first place. Yeah, yeah, you got some awards. Okay, okay, you got some awards. Oh, I gotta fight something. Dust Bunny. Oof, I need to heal. Um... But I should be good for now. Dust Bunny is trying to keep itself together. Pass to Aubrey. Aubrey knocks the ball out of the park. Okay. Omori's party was victorious. You gained 36 XP, got five clams. Hey, you know, we had to fight a bunny on your shelf. Did you know that? You don't care. You don't care. You are uninterested. Let me go see if I can heal. Do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Yes. Do picnics heal me? When I grow up, I'm going to be a space hey, pirate. Hey Max, it's Badass Boy. Hey, what's up? Just kidding. I'm actually not Badass Boy. Fuck! I apologize for the confusion. Shit! It's okay, I forgive you. <laughs> I'm going to travel all around the universe. Our search for Basil has taken all of us pretty far from home. Traveling the universe is what you want. You definitely have a head start. I wonder what kind of friends we will meet. What foes we'll face. It'll be an epic journey to end all journeys. You're way too carefree about this, Cal. Did you forget that we're looking for Basil? We are looking for Basil, that's true. Remember? Hey Max, been watching your stuff for a while now since the early days of YT. Hope you are doing great. Oh, I'm also, right. I'm wondering if you'll play Deltarune someday. I'll play it when it's done. <laughs> I've uh, I've ranted about that before. When it's done, I'll play it. So like, I don't know, 10 years from now. Remember our dear friend Basil who needs us? Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just trying to be positive. I have complete faith that we will save him. Besides, the heroes always win. Mm. Isn't that right, hero? <laughs> hey Max, <laughs> Very sorry funny to cow. bother, but do you still take commissions, and if so, what are the prices, and where would you request them? No, I do not. Thank you for thinking of me, though. You and your friends feel like new. Um... Does that restore juice? Yep. Juice is restored. Okay, now I save. So I don't have to do that again. Let's hit it. Oh, somebody's wanted. I see a wanted poster. Uh, do we want to go up? Oh, little panda. This place used to be a pristine wildlife preserve, but due to a recent boom in tourism, it started to accumulate a lot of trash. What, you mean like you? Pick up your trash, people! It's not that hard! Okay, jeez. Lives here. Hello. Pessy. Hi, I'm Pessy. And as you probably noticed, I love Sweetheart! I got every piece of merchandise she's ever released. 
I got sweetheart posters, figures, stickers, shirts, her entire discography, and anything else you can think of. Is this like a pop star that you enjoy, or...? It's one of those Vocaloid singers? Is it a VTuber? Who is this? I am certain you won't find a more thorough collection anywhere else in the world. Calling me a super fan is an understatement. I am the ultimate fan. Let me tell you about the time I almost met Sweetheart. We just happened to be eating at the same restaurant. It was fate, I think. We ordered the same meal, too. Not like I totally saw what she ordered and copied her or anything. I even tried to pay for her meal, but I had just bought a newly released Sweetheart life-size statue the day earlier and couldn't afford to. Which I guess ended up being a good thing, since that girl turned out to be some regular girl wearing a costume that kind of looked like Sweetheart's, sweetheart's anyway. Okay, so it, it was a... What did, did you say it was a poster or a cutout? And it wasn't her, but you didn't... you couldn't tell? Not like I couldn't tell in the first place, then WHY DID YOU BUY IT?! Only a poser fan would ever mistake a regular person for Sweetheart. A very obnoxious sounding song is playing from this boombox. A painting of an obnoxious looking person. <laughs> a statue made in the likeness of an obnoxious looking person. A bookcase full of books about an obnoxious looking person. <laughs> Hey, did you know that person that you like is obnoxious? Can I talk to you again, please? Oh, you just say the same thing again, don't you? Hi, Max. Hello. Have you played Undertale? I have. If so, you should play a fan game called Undertale Yellow. It's a finished Undertale fan game recently released. I've heard it's peak. I have heard it is peak. I'll have to look into it. Hey, Max. Been watching you since WGJ4K, and I've been a big fan since. Keep up the good work. Thank you, I will. Also, is it true that Markiplier voiced in none of your vids? Uh, yeah, I think he did. God, he is such a nice guy. Markiplier is definitely, like, the nicest guy on the internet. I feel like we all know it. Max, sorry I lied, but I'm back. I wanted to ask your permission if I could hypothetically print out a Relaxus poster for myself for Daily Worship THX Heart Suit. Uh... If you don't feel like that's unhealthy behavior, then you can do it. I do wonder. You know, you're not supposed to... You're not supposed to really worship Relaxus. It's supposed to... It's meant to be a meditative act. You're supposed to realize that Relaxus is not actually real. A recycling machine. What would you like to recycle? Uh, the can I just found? You put a can into the recycling machine. that beat. <laughs> More people would recycle if it would play this song. And everybody would do it. The recycling machine dispensed five clams. Alright. Thank you for doing your part in keeping the environment clean. Hey, no problem. That recycling machine just gave me a cool prize for recycling some cans. Recycling does pay off. Well, ironically enough, in the real world, I have only ever heard that recycling is not really all that effective. I still do it, though. Just in the off chance that it does work. A band of space pirates has been camping out here for a long time now. We hear that the captain suddenly decided he wasn't going to travel anymore, so half of the crew took his ship and left. Okay. Who are you? Ooh, you're a cutscene person. Halt, children! You are now entering the vicinity of... The Captain of the Space Pirates! The Master of the Solar System! The Prince of the Universe! The one and only... Captain Space B... I mean... Uh... You are entering the house of space boyfriend? Whoa, the captain of the space pirates lives here? That's awesome! I want to be a space pirate too. Yeah, well, so did I. Once. Space boyfriend doesn't do much these days, so most of the space pirates got fed up and 
left with the main ship. It's just us stragglers here doing all of the space boyfriend's chores and whatever. Yesterday, me and the guys spent the day cleaning and throwing away, throwing away all of his trash. <sighs> I didn't leave my old job for this. I ain't no babysitter. Aw, I'm sorry. That sounds awful. Maybe we can talk some sense into him. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Captain Space... Bo I mean, Space Boyfriends got two sides to him, you see. We should at least try. You never know. He might know something about how to find Basil. Or maybe he knows where to find my pet rock, Hector. We're Yo, not Max, looking for your rock! Do you listen to? Also, move your mouse cursor, please. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck, sorry. <laughs> I don't... I'm sorry, I don't listen to a lot of music. I'm not really a music person. Yes? Yeah, sure, that too. What are we waiting for? Let's go see him already. Sorry about your job, sir. It'll get better soon, I promise. Huh. <sighs> Thank you, little lady. I sure hope so. Talk to that little bird over there. <laughs> Squawk! Things have been so boring around here ever since Space Cap- I mean, Space Boyfriend. I mean, look at what Space Boyfriend's done with the old Captain Ship. Didn't get to read that, but that's my own fault for hitting the button. Captain Pinkbeard would never approve of this. Can I talk to that guy? Pop the worship thing. I am definitely not mentally okay, and also thank you, Poppy Relaxes will help my mental health tremendously. Blue Heart, have some money. All right, well, if you think it's normal, if you think it's healthy behavior, and if you think that it's helpful, then, you know, go with God, or go with Relaxus. Hey, do you have any tattoos? I don't. If so, what are they of? They are of... If not, are there any you might want? This. Sorry if this was already asked before. No, it's fine, don't worry. Uh, I, I'm not really thinking about tattoos right now. Recently, I've just been thinking about, like, trying to look more like a respectable adult. That's why I'm getting rid of all of my piercings. Ah. Hey, Max. Hope your day is going well. Thank you. Is there any chance you might make an appearance on Smiling Friends? Uh, I saw Zach in your fascism video, and it gave me hope. I don't know about that. Thanks for being awesome. I mean, I can't really ask him, so it would just be entirely up to him. If he ever feels that I would be a good fit for it, then he could always ask me, but I don't know. I, I wouldn't hold your breath for that one. Ah, the view here is spectacular. I mean, it's alright. Thank you for the super chats today, you guys. That'll help me recoup my losses from, uh... from having that video demonetized. So I do appreciate it. All I hear lately are the rest of the crew complaining about being bored. Am I the only one who kind of enjoys cleaning around here? Cleaning can be therapeutic. There's a certain catharsis that comes with it. Space boyfriend. What can we do for you, bro? Why won't you leave your bed? Me, 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 me. That guy's asleep standing up. Buddy, it sucks that you had to come at a time like this. Me? Am I the buddy? Things are a little tough now, but I don't care what anyone says, pal. I believe in the captain. Captain Space but I mean Space Boyfriend. So what did they used to call him? Did they used to call him Space Boyfriend, but now they they used to call him Captain Space Boyfriend, but now they just call him Space Boyfriend? So he's not the captain anymore? I mean Space Boyfriend hasn't left his bed since she stopped coming around. Oh, uh-oh, there's a she. Captain Space Boyfriend had his heart broken by some, uh... By some foul temptress. Oh my gosh, this is like the perfect bedroom. Can you imagine having a bedroom like this? Oh my god. A vanity. A bookcase full of knowledge from all across the universe. Can I play this? <gasps> I can! <laughs> I'm not good! Don't quit your day job, Pukas. A boombox! There's no cassette tape inside. A telescope. Oh, it won't let me look through it. Alright, pal, it's time to get out of bed. You've been depressed for long enough. <coughs> <coughs> oh, 
Uh-oh. Captain Space... Uh, I mean, Space Boyfriend doesn't look so good. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Hey, Space Boyfriend! Wake up! Kel? What? <coughs> My precious sweetheart. Aw, he sounds sad. There must be some way to help him. <coughs> oh, my sweetheart. This is me a few weeks ago when I had COVID. Where have you run off to now? Oh no, not again. Space Boyfriend's feeling the heavy blues. Here, my guy, this'll cheer you right up. I'm gonna play some tunes. Huh? Why isn't anything playing? Oh no. The boombox. It's empty. He's never gonna wake up now. Or even worse, he's gonna wake up angry. Oh man, oh man. Where could that special mixtape be? Am I gonna have to find it? Someone must have thrown away his special mixtape when we were cleaning. What's the big deal? It's just a cassette, right? And also, we're trying to find a lost little boy that might be more important. Well, you see, whenever Space Boyfriend is away from Sweetheart, he gets really sad and lies in bed all day. The only way to snap him out of it is by playing his special mixtape. There's only one in the universe like it. Oh, I see. Space Boyfriend isn't sick. He's lovesick. You, I finally found your stream. Here I am. Loves your brain dump videos so much. Thank you. And thank you for the super chat. <sighs> if Space Boyfriend stays like this, the once great coalition of space pirates will be lost for eternity. Oh. Oh, man. That sucks. Well, let's go. Wait, where are you going? We should help him out. You should know that it really sucks to lose something important to you. Yeah, we know because we've lost Basil, Aubrey. Don't you dare bring Hector into this. Oh, I guess he was thinking about Hector. I'm talking about when you stole my stuffed toy. You guys should both use Basil as an example. He's a real person. Huh? I don't remember anything like that. Kel, you're an idiot. Ahem, ahem! Oh, sweetheart! My perfect goddess! Ugh, my sweet, jelly-filled donut! I think he's getting worse! What should we do, Omari? Should we help him? No? Oh, please, Omori! I think he really needs our help! If you were sick in bed, you'd want someone to help you, right? We're already looking for a missing person. What should we do, Omori? Should we help? Yeah, I guess so. Thanks, my guys. I really appreciate it. Here, take this. What do we get? You got Junkyard Key. This key unlocks the junkyard. The special mixtape should be somewhere in there. Is it through that door? You can get through this secret entrance to Space Boyfriend's backyard. Okay. Pretty convenient, eh? Well, let's see if it works first. Ooh, pretty. This game is really... Really aesthetically pleasing. I do really like the way this game looks. It's simple, but it's effective. <sighs> We've really done it now, dude. I hope the captain won't be too mad when we tell him his favorite planet is missing. You know how he gets when he's angry. Buddy, you're not supposed to call him Captain anymore. You have to call him Space Boyfriend, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Arg. Arg! You know, dude, sometimes I wonder if we're even space pirates anymore. Ever since that sweetheart came along, we haven't done anything cool. We should just quit and get real jobs. Don't 
talk nonsense, buddy. What if what is life for us if not the space pirate life? I'm sure the captain will come to his senses one day and we'll all fly again. We just have to believe in him. Sigh. Thanks, dude. You're always there when I need you. Okay, so the pirates... The pirates really want their captain back. Stay away from me, worm. Alright, fine. I'll fight you. Okay, we got space worm. Um... Stab. Always deals a critical hit. Ignores defense when Omori is sad. Cost 13. Observe! Predicts who a foe will target next turn. Eh, I don't know how useful that's gonna be. Um... Omori, why don't you write a sad song... A sad, or excuse me, a sad poem for yourself. Everybody else can... Ooh, actually, I wanna see Aubrey's skills. Pep Talk! Makes a friend or foe happy. Okay, I need to write that down. Aubrey gives pep talk, and then in parentheses, happy. So that means Aubrey turns people happy, Omori turns people sad, <laughs> and Kel turns people angry. I think I can remember that, and even if I can't, I have it written down now. Boy, I wouldn't want to be Kel. He's a real asshole. Jackson Dandelion. Has a calming effect. Removes emotion from a friend or foe. Uh, Jax. Deals small damage to all foes and reduce their speed. Um, and snacks. I have two s'mores and one cherry soda. What will... Ooh, hang on. Now I'm back to, uh, Omori. Omori! A sad poem yourself. Everybody else attack. Kel attacks Wormhole. Kel passes to Hero. Mori reads sad poem, becomes sad. Oh, the foe is called Wormhole. Okay. Okay, now that Omori is sad, I can... Use stab, which will ignore the worm's defense, and I guess do more damage? Question mark. Everybody else can keep attacking. Yeah, fuck him up, Omori. Is he dead? Nope, still alive. Is Omori secretly Jerry Six? Uh, probably. Mori's party was victorious, except I spent all my juice. Mori has very little juice left. You gained 18 XP. You gained 15 clams. Alright. Looking for a mixtape. Oh, look at this motherfucker's awesome mustache. Dude, your mustache is so fucking epic. Can I see that? Damn. Maestro. My good men, I am looking for some art. Fear not, for I will know when I have found it. Cool. Got a backpack. There's the junkyard up there. I have the key that opens that place. What's down this way? Where even am I? What's this way? Oof. I don't want to get lost. I don't want to get lost! Um... Bird just say squawk? No, this bird say cheap. Otherworld lake. Otherworld campsite. Oh, it's this way. Okay. Alright. Hey, Max! Hey! Been a big fan since Jerry. Thank you. I was basically a kid, and you were my intro to animation. That can't be true. Do you still talk to Eco Raptor? Nope. Aaron was great as Rarity. 
Stippity giant guy in it. That can't be true. You didn't watch TV? Your intro to animation wasn't something on TV? It wasn't... Spongebob or Looney Tunes or Mickey Mouse or something? Lovely weather, isn't it? Well, not in the real world. In the real world, it's pretty cold here today. Nope, 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 don't touch me. Into the junkyard I go. Use the junkyard key. Looking for a mixtape. Looking for a mixtape to find my friend Basil. You got granola bar. Um, can I? Fuck it. Snacks, granola bar. Healthy stick of grain. You know, 60 heart. Okay, so that's one mo That's ten more than s'mores. Um. Motion chart. Self-help guide. What is the self-help guide? A self-help book all about battles written by yours truly. Hero, what would you like help with? Uh... Nothing. Do I need to change everyone's equipment? Okay, so... The backpack is equipment. I guess Omori can wear that. He cannot unequip knife. Interesting. Hero get. Spatula! Good for flipping burgers. Alright. And now do I need to change their skills as well? Nope. He has no additional skills. She does not even have her skills filled out. Neither does he. And neither does he. Alright. I think I'm ready to fight... I think I should be pretty ready for whatever gets thrown at me. Um, ooh, okay. I can just make these things disappear? Yes. I cut them down with my blade, with my awesome blade. I got rubber band. Got gold watch. Most definitely, probably not really made of gold. Useless in battle. Okay. Who equips gold watch? Aubrey? But it doesn't... It doesn't change my stats at all. What does it do? Does it do anything? It says, u <laughs> it says useless in battle. Maybe I'm supposed to sell it? Yeah, maybe. Hello, Max. It's badass boy. Once Omri hero. To or tell so you, that you I'll say. Have to watch when I'm home from work. I'm very Aubrey for this message. Basil is my favorite character, by the way. He is find pretty him. cute. We're gonna find him. We're gonna find him. Uh, what was that other thing I just got? Rubber band deals damage to a foe and reduces their defense. I wish it would tell me how much damage it does because I don't know if it's weaker or stronger than my attacks. I also don't know how strong each individual character's attacks are. But whatever. Maybe I'll figure it out as I go. We'll figure it out. So this is the junkyard, eh? Time to start digging. Kel, that's disgusting. What are we, what are we looking for again? Space Boyfriend Special Mixtape. Righto. Actually, what we're looking for is basil. Hey, look, I found a can. You got a can. Sigh. I guess that's a start. Guess we can recycle the cans. You got glass bottle. That's also recyclable. What do you know? Nothing down here.
You gonna attack me? What are you gonna do? Yep, you are. Kel is digging through trash. Kel finds a can. <laughs> does that have to do with the fight, or does that not have to do with the fight? Okay, let's see what everybody's base attack is when they attack normally. So we're all just gonna do regular attacks, right? Mixtape slaps Omori. We're looking for a mixtape! Is this, is this the mixtape we're looking for? No. Aubrey did 24. Hero did 18. I didn't read the other ones. Um, and Omori is low on health, so we're gonna have everybody, everyone attack, hey, except- Japan. Can I draw you in markably or making out? Also, banana na 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 loves and kisses. Uh, I- I, I guess I probably wouldn't care about that, but you would also have to ask him for his permission, wouldn't you? And he might not say yes, and also he's gonna be a lot harder to get a hold of. Uh, What will Kel do? Kel will attack, mixtape, and Hero will... Massage, remove a, remove a friend or foe's emotion. Don't I have a few things that can do that? I think I have something else that does that as well. We're gonna have you cook for Omori. Kel becomes caught in mixtape. What the hell does that mean? Pass to Omori. I didn't say pass to Aubrey. Mori's party was victorious. You gained 112 XP. You got 12 clams. All right. Um. Was that the mixtape? Did we get it? I don't think we got it. Skills. We are going to use our skill of cook. I'm going to use it on Omori to heal him. Perfect. Beautiful. You got cardboard. Can cardboard be recycled? You got air horn. I think it can. I don't want to fight that guy. That guy looks big and strong. Hmm. Do I fight you? I think I have no choice. All right, come here. Let's do it. Kel is digging through trash. Kel didn't find anything. What will Omori and friends do? Okay, the first thing I'm noticing is the boombox looks sad. Angry beats sad. So I could either... I could either turn everyone angry or I could turn Boombox back to normal. Um, let's try. Uh, Omori, you attack Mixtape. Aubrey, you attack Doombox. Kel, you use Skill, Annoy, to Anger, Aubrey. Hero, you also attack Mixtape. See how that treats us. Mixtape slaps Hero. Hero takes 17 damage. Kel annoys Aubrey. Aubrey is angry. Aubrey attacks Doombox. Aubrey looks at Omori. And then she attacks again. Yes. <laughs> Doombox is adjusting the radio. Doombox becomes angrier. Oof. Well, now it's angry versus angry. That's not gonna work. What beats angry? Happy beats angry. Aubrey, can you make yourself happy when you're angry? Aubrey, give yourself pep talk. Uh, Kel, you attack mixtape. 
and hero you attack mixtape. Nope. Don't cook. We don't want you to cook. We want you to attack mixtape. Okay, Kel is wrapped up. Kel's speed fell. Mori attacks mix mixtape. Mixtape takes 19 damage. You can do it! Aubrey is happy! Beautiful! Oh! Then what happened? Everyone took damage. Oof. It's no good. Okay, if Doombox is angry and Aubrey is happy, then she should have type advantage. Uh, Kel is running out of health. We are going to have him attack Mixtape, and we're going to have Hero cook for Kel. God, I wish I knew how to play this game. I wish I knew if I was doing it right. I think I'm doing it right. Look at Omori. But it scrolls everything so fast, I don't have time to read it. There we go. We didn't get time to, uh, to heal Kel, though. Omori's party was victorious. He gained 326 XP and 33 clams. Omori grew to level 5 and learned Bread Slice. Aubrey grew to level 5, Kel grew to level 5, Hero grew to level 5. Cook for Kel real quick. Do I want to cook for these other people too? These other dumb kids? <laughs> Shoot. Well, that's it for his juice. Oh man, it looks like there's a big block of junk in the way. You might even call it a roadblock. Get it? Not to worry, everyone. This big old block is nothing compared to my swing. Hey, Omori, you know how you can cut roots and traffic cones? Well, you're not the only one with a special ability around here. I, for one, can smash large blocks out of our way. Kel and Hero have their own special abilities, too. Although I'm not sure about Kel, hee <laughs> hee. Just make me the leader by selecting tag in the player menu or by holding A. I'll get rid of this hunk of junk easy peasy. Um. You tagged Aubrey. Aubrey tagged Kel. Um. So what is. What are Kel and Hero's special abilities? Mori can cut things down with his knife. Aubrey can smash block. Bonk. Alright. And I can just have her as the leader? For as long as I want? You got cam. Man, I have so much to recycle! Can't wait to get back to that recycling machine. You got glass bottle. Computer phone. Kel is digging through trash. Kel finds a rubber band. Okay. I want to attack. I want to see how strong you all are. Kel's attack did nothing. Okay, you're weak. Dial-up takes two damage from Amori. Also weak. Amori trips Dial-up. Aubrey attacks Dial-up. Three damage. And Hero. Okay. Aubrey is the strongest. I guess. And then maybe Kel and Hero are like... They have equal strength. And Omori is the second strongest. Also, dial-up is sad. What beats sad? Angry beats sad. Okay. Hmm. Air horn. Who would invent this? Inflicts anger on all friends. Ooh, that's good. And that's just what I need right now. 
because dial up is sad. Let's try it out. And then everyone else just attack. I hope Omori goes first. Omori, you go first. Fuck, he didn't go first. Okay, you go second. Aubrey feels angry. Omori feels angry. Kel feels angry. Hero feels angry. Yes, 15 damage from Aubrey. Hero hurt himself in frustration. That's no good. Um. Just keep going. Nobody seems in danger. Omori and Hero are low on juice. That could be a problem. Five damage from Hero. There we go. Aubrey's- oh, it's Aubrey's party now, is it? Gained 93 XP and got 14 clams. Alright. Aubrey, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> this is not your party, Aubrey. It's Omori's party. You got flower puzzle. Okay. I think I have to go all the way back to, uh, to the playground to use that. Hey, Mr. Conveyor Bot. Switch up the, those conveyor belts for us already. <laughs> Rude person. You can't just yell orders at people, Kel. Bagel. Basil is a fruity little gay boy who is obsessed with flowers like a sissy. That's true, he is. He is far too soft to take care of himself, so if found, please return to Fruity Land Show House. That's all? <laughs> yeah, that's what I wrote on the milk carton. You can't just yell orders at people, Kel. Jeez, have some tact, will you? Now, now, there's no need to fuss. I'll handle this. Tag me, Omori. You tagged Hero. He's the teenager. Ahem. Greetings, Sir Conveyor Bot. My companions and I require your assistance in changing the direction of your conveyors. Will you and your friends please help us? Bzzzt. Ah, mm, Nice person. Okay. Beautiful. Can I go through here? The gate is locked. You can probably open it using a junkyard key. Okay, I need another key. Omori is leader. Toilet? You got ramen. I would not eat toilet ramen. I'm sorry, I just wouldn't. Omori, don't eat that. No, I'm not buying a hundred dollar soda. You gotta be kidding me. Woo! Fun. Get to go on a little ride? Hell yeah. Comet Hammer. Hello, Max. Hello. Tis I, Red Mensch, yet again. I am feeling hella relaxed after smoking a stobie, drinking a yerba, and simply being here to watch you. Sounds like a good time. All my favorites. Except I don't really... <laughs> I don't really know what a yerba is. Is that an alcoholic beverage? Glasses Ghost looks around aimlessly as if it is lost. Um... I just got a hammer. Who does the hammer? Oh, Comet Hammer. <gasps> if I replace stuffed toy with hammer, it boosts my stats. Fuck yes. Okay, now I have to... Switch to Hero. Hero is like the polite one. He's the one that they use to talk to adults. He knows how to be really, really, uh, really respectful. He knows how to play the adults like a violin. No! No! Get off! Get off! No! Don't go all the way back! No, 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 no! Shit! You have to get off! Fuck. Alright. Okay, don't touch it again. Do not get back on. 
Okay. Whew. Uh, can I open this one? Oh, <gasps> there's someone in there. Basil, is that you? Oh yeah! Nope, it's Kool Aid Man. <laughs> are you, are you Kool Aid Man? You are Kool Aid Man. I know Kool Aid Man. You are Kool Aid Man. Life Jam Guy. Hey kids, I'm the Life Jam Guy. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I sell Life Jam. It really works. Would you like a free demo? You know what they say, try before you buy. The first bump is for free. Oh, I have to fight you. I thought you were gonna give me something. Um, all right. Just don't kill any of my dudes. God, what do I do, just regular fighting? Just regular attacking? Life Gym Guy turns you into toast. Whoa! That's not fair. Omori did not succumb. I thought we were gonna have a real fight, not you just wiping all my dudes out. Life Jam guy. Uses Life Jam! It really works! You got Life Jam. Oh, he turned us into toast to show us how the jam works. Um. Okay. I get Life Jam. Use on girl. Use on Aubrey. She comes back. Life Jam guy explains the benefits of Life Jam. What will hero and friends do? Uh, are you gonna attack me? Do I have to beat you? Use Life Jam on Kel. Yeah. Aubrey. Aubrey, I want you to use Jam on Keenan, aka Hero. Kel comes back. Hero comes back. Life Jam guy explains the benefit of Life Jam. Enjoy your free samples! Goodbye now! <laughs> Thank you, Life Jam guy. <laughs> How did you like my free demo? <laughs> I'm kidding. I know you loved it. Oh, I see you are still hurt. No worries, I will heal you. <laughs> Boy, what would I what would I do without Life Jam guy? You and your friends feel like new. Very Actually, good, I'm yeah. I'm not awake when you're streaming, but I work till late, 2 a.m. here. Filling D&D character sheets for children is part of my job as a paid DM. Love your D&D video. You're a paid DM? I could do that. Did you also get to play D&D? Cheers. Um... Have I played D&D? Uh, yeah, I've played in a couple of games. I DM'd myself once. You can get paid for that? Man. Does it pay well? I mean, I could earn money by DMing? That could be like a side hustle for me. I can't imagine it It pays very well. It can't. It can't possibly. I bet I could do that, though. I bet that would be something that I would be good at. I would just hate being around the kids. You're, you're, you're DMing for, like, children? Actual children? I would do it for fellow adults, but I wouldn't do it for kids. I would be like, I don't want to be around these fucking kids. Get these kids out of here. Very good, yes? Now, would you like to buy some Life Jam? Oh, oh that's how they get you. Only cost you 250 clams. No thanks, I can't even afford it. <laughs> that's okay. You will need to later. Is that a threat? Um, how much gin? Oh, I don't have. I don't get to keep any. I only get it for the uh, for the fight with him. Okay. So yeah, he's just giving me my first bump to get me hooked. I know that tactic. Well, I can't afford it, so... Even if I loved it, I wouldn't be able to use it. Hmm. Ooh, I got key. You got junkyard key, okay. Then I gotta go back. I missed that watermelon. How did I miss that watermelon, though? I gotta get that watermelon. Yeah, 
Yeah, once you get on conveyor belt, you can't get off. So you have to make sure it's going the right way. Uh, nope. Nope, it's going the wrong way. But it's still going wrong way. What the fucky? What am I doing wrong? Which one do you change? No, you change that one down there. How do I change this one up here? I have to get on. Oh, I see. I see what I do. Okay. Now we ride it all the way back. Yep. Chocolate. And what does chocolate do? Chocolate. Oh, it's baking chocolate. Heals 40% of heart. Ew, baking chocolate. Everyone knows that we as kids hate baking chocolate. Use the junkyard key. Tape's gotta be around here somewhere. Somebody made a little shrine? A photo of someone familiar. Okay. Max, where's that award-winning smile? In my mouth? Question What you you mean this one? What award-winning smile? Is it because I just have the neutral face for my uh for my little Viato tuber guy? You got Life Jam! I KNEW I DIDN'T NEED TO BUY ANY! I don't need to buy any- I can just find it! I knew it! I knew it! I- I knew I did the right thing! I knew I did the right thing! That guy was gonna charge me 250 clams! Are you crazy? Are you nuts? Kel is digging through trash. Kel finds a rubber band. Okay, and one of them is angry. Let's have everybody do a normal attack. Kel, we're gonna have you annoy Aubrey. Um, and everyone else just continue doing normal attack against normal mixtape. Uh, mixtape slaps Kel. Aubrey gets annoyed, and then... She will be primed to attack Sad Mixtape. Max, have you ever rode on one of those moving Jetsons <laughs> conveyor belt floors? Speaking of, do you like Hanna-Barbera cartoons? Uh, I like some of them. Those moving conveyor belt- you mean like at the airport? They have them at the airport. But it's kind of hard to find them not at the airport, because that's really like... the only place that they have them. <laughs> Where do they have them besides the airport? Mixtape slaps Kel. Hey, leave Kel alone! Why is everybody always beating up on Kel? Okay, so when when Aubrey does the thing where she looks at another at another fighter, it basically just allows her to attack twice. And this game has so many mechanics. Um I don't I don't think we're gonna get to this. Kel is almost dead, so we're gonna have Hero cook for him. Yep, Kel is just dead. He's toast. Kel, you're toast! Hero's party was victorious. We do need to get some healing for Kel, though. 
Aubrey learned counter. I wonder what that does. Ooh. Aubrey, what does that do? All foes target Aubrey for one turn. If Aubrey is attacked, she attacks. Cost five. Interesting. Um, do I want to use Hero's Healing on Kel, or do I want to heal Kel with items? You know what? Just for the hell of it. We'll use items. We'll see how that treats us. We're gonna give a s'more to Kel. God, there's another computer. I don't want to fight you, computer. And I won't. I wish harmony on you, computer. Oh, hello, Marie. Ah, oh, yes, a perfectly roasted chicken. Would you like to eat some? Why, yes, I would. That means I wasted that s'more for nothing. Fuck me. Because I could have just waited and eat eaten the chicken. You and your friends feel better. Anything new? Cleaning has its benefits. I need to set an example for my sometimes messy little brother. I still don't know if you're actually my real sister or not. I was in my house and you were knocking on the door and you were looking quite demonic. And you keep calling me handsome. Or, oh, oh, are you calling Hero handsome? Hey there, handsome. Or maybe you prefer what's cooking, good looking. <laughs> so do you need to help? Do you need me to help you with anything? All it costs is your love. Captain of the Space Pirates... Space Pirates. Uh oh, it looks like Space Boyfriend's mixtape was accidentally thrown away. Could it possibly be somewhere in the junkyard? Whereabouts of Ducky Jr.? I don't even know who Ducky Jr. is. Oh no, Ducky Jr. is missing? I'm sure his parents are awfully worried about him. Got a can. I'm gonna save. Uh, was there another way to go? If I go this way, I think there was. Yes, up here. Don't want to miss this. You got lemonade. Okay. Let's save again. Save with lemonade. Will she, will she respond differently depending on who's in charge, Dep depending on who the team leader is? Let me try that. What do you have to say to Aubrey? What do you have to say to this cute little girl, this adorable little child? Well, hello there, Aubrey. Looking cute today. Yeah, that's right. You always take such good care of your hair. Okay, and what do you say to... What do you say to Kel? Yo, Kel, this what's poor up? Basil is missing, and we all miss him very much. Have you been watering his precious flowers? Uh, no, but I haven't. If not, why? I haven't been around. All it costs is your love. I haven't been there. I haven't been around the flowers. I've been up in the space zone. Yo, Kel, what's up? You look like you've grown just a bit taller. Maybe one day you'll even be taller than Hero. <laughs> So, do you need me to help you with anything? All it costs is your love. You're weird. There's something uncanny about Mary. Or Marie. Or Mari. Or however you say it. Do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Sure, why not? We'll get new dialogue. Ugh. This place is so gross and stinky. My nose can't take it anymore. What's the rush, Aubrey? There's so much treasure around. The rush is we're looking for a missing child. That's the rush. I'm gonna swipe as many cans as I can find. Oh, and then afterwards we should recycle them at a recycling machine. I'm sure we passed by one on the way to Captain Spa- I mean Space Boyfriend's place. Bots are drawn together and do you think it should make a comeback? No, it shouldn't make a comeback. Uh, Drawn Together is okay. I am hesitant to even say it's good. It's definitely not great, and it's probably not good. I think it's just okay. I think if you... 
You know what? It's probably the perfect show to have playing in the background while you're doing something else. Because if you have it, like, playing in the background while you're working, and you keep your expectations low, I think it'll get a good chuckle out of you now and then. Um, but I wouldn't call it brilliant. Earth. Forget cans. We gotta find that special mixtape and get out of here. Oh, hang in there, Aubrey. Yeah, it's almost like there's something uncanny about Marie slash Mari slash Mary. However you want to say it. I don't know how to describe it. There is there is something uncanny about her. It's like... It, it's almost like she's, like, synthetically nice. She's synthetically... There's something synthetic about her. I don't know how to put my finger on it. But I think it will be revealed to me eventually. So you can stash that away with the rest of the theories. And the theory about Omori and Basil being gay lovers can go can can also go on the list of theories. Oh, hang in there, Aubrey. You'll get past this. Why are you so nice all the time? If anything, just think about all of the good recycling we'll do for the environment. Yeah, come on, Aubrey, do it for the environment, you dumb bitch. All right. I'm gonna save one more time. Uh-oh, another dude. Another dude to fight. Kel is digging through trash. One of them is sad. So. Regular attacks. Um, Keenan, annoy Aubrey. Kel. Or, excuse me, Kel, annoy Aubrey. Keenan, we're gonna have you just do a regular attack on the boombox. Kel annoys Aubrey. Aubrey feels angry. Aubrey looks at Omori. Omori does not respond. Aubrey attacks twice, yes? You don't know the Ducky Jr.? They'd be disappointed to know that because he certainly knows you, Max. Alright. But real talk, it's nice to see you streaming again. Well, thank you. Keep up the good work. Whoa, everyone took damage. I hope you keep up the good work as well. Okay, Boombox is angry now. That's bad. We have one angry enemy and one sad enemy. What do we do for our angry enemies? Happy beats angry. God, this game has the weirdest combat system. How would you system. feel about selling custom Blu-rays of your content as a limited supply collectible? Uh, Imagine a hard copy with every episode of Brain Dump. I, I don't think that would fly. I think it has way too much... I think it has way too many clips for movies. I don't know how I would square away the copyrights of all of that shit. And also, you can watch them for free on the internet, so what's the point? Like, why would you want to pay for free, or, or pay to get something that you already have access to for free? Come on, you guys are too smart for that. I'm not gonna start charging you guys for shit that you can watch for free on the internet! What are you, nuts? That would be a little too mean of me. It would be a little too, uh, a little too greedy, I think. Okay, so Happy Beats Angry. Omori... Um... Omori... Uh, Aubrey, Aubrey, Aubrey makes characters happy, but she also can't stop attacking. Because she's the tank. She puts out the highest amount of damage. So maybe we should just have everyone attack normally? No, Kel, do not annoy. Kel, you do attack on Doombox. Hero, you do attack on Doombox. Mixtape slaps Hero. Oof, Hero's not doing great. Look at Omori. Oh! Didn't even need her to look at Omori. I guess you can do your second attack on, on Doombox? Yeah? There we go. Mori's party was victorious. Um, 
Hero needs to heal. Gained 298 XP. Got 30 clams. Kel grew to level 6. Alright. I'm just gonna heal right away. Beautiful. You got dead batteries. Can those be recycled? You know, they made this episode of Penn and Teller about how recycling is all just bullshit. It doesn't work very well. And that episode... You know, I think it I think it came out like 15 or 20 years ago, so maybe recycling has improved since then. I'm gonna have to fight this guy. Maybe recycling has improved since then. But the idea is basically like everyone just recycles because there's such a stigma surrounding not recycling that people are too afraid to stop recycling. Um But what I've found is that there are benefits to separating your garbage between clean garbage and dirty garbage. So if you go to, if you go to like Walmart and you buy new Sonic the Hedgehog video game, right? You get it, you get the game, it has like a cling wrap on it. You take the cling wrap off. Does that cling wrap that you throw away, does that really need to be contained by a trash bag? Probably not, right? So you put that in recycling, and then you have clean garbage and dirty garbage. The dirty garbage goes in the trash can where it is surrounded by the garbage bag. And the reason this is good is because when you separate the clean and the dirty garbage, you ultimately find yourself using less trash bags. So even if recycling doesn't work as well as they say it does, even though maybe it's gotten better, I don't know, um, it's still in your own best interest to differentiate between the clean garbage and the dirty garbage. Then you're saving money on trash bags throughout the year. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. To all of you who don't recycle, think about it. You could be saving money on trash bags. Not everything, not all of your trash needs to be contained by a trash bag. Some of it is fine just like going in a box or going in a bin, you know? Think about it. Think about it, you dumb kids. Think about it. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, back to video game. Kel is digging through trash. Kel didn't find anything. Uh, we can just attack this dumb thing, yeah? Pass to Aubrey, see what she does. Oof, I'm getting hungry. Kel knocks the ball out of the park. So I'm guessing when Kel passes his ball, it's probably best if he ca passes it to Aubrey because her attack is highest? I'm guessing, anyway. And one of my friends is playing Apex Legends. Good for them. Fun fact, Basil is actually drawn to bags of trash. Leave out more garbage and he will arrive. I don't know about that. We have to find him. We're gonna find him today. That poor little boy, that poor child. He's starving. He's thirsty, he's cold, he's scared. I gotta do something for him. He's shivering in a ditch on the side of the road. Who knows what's happening to him? You got bubble wrap. Alright. Uh, in here? Oof, who are these guys? Do I fight you or do I talk to you? Keck, 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 keck. Keck, keck. Keck, keck. Over. <laughs> Over. Do you guys move? Can I move you guys? No? Alright. I'll leave you be then. I'll leave you be. Ow! What the? What gives? Huh. <laughs> well, what do you know? There's a weak point on its head. I can recognize one of those anywhere. Let's try throwing something at it. I'm sure that'll work. Hey, Max, it's Badass Boy. Hey, what's up? I'll watch the VOD tonight. 
You've got some $2 super chats, by the way. Uh, that's fine. If I see, uh, super chats for less than $5, I can read them, but... If you want to make sure I hear it... Gotta activate- you want to make sure it activates text-to-speech, it's gotta be five bucks. So... If I switch... <laughs> and hey, badass boy, did you know that... Uh, even if recycling is not super effective... That if you recycle, you will ultimately find yourself spending less money on trash bags? Did you know that? Think about it. Think about it. Could be worth your while to start recycling if you're not already already. Think about it. I would be curious to know if recycling has improved over the years, or if it's still just worthless or what. I should look into that, I think. You got rubber band! Poetry book. Poetry book is probably used to make characters sad. Like Omori's poetry does. Oof, this place is getting cavernous. I don't know. I don't know which direction. Do I want to go in there? Is that. Oof, that's a big boy. That's going to be a tough fight. Do I take that thing on? I can tell that's going to be a tough fight. Um. Am I ready? Am I ready for first tough fight? Is there another way I can go? Um, bunch of small little fights around here. There's watermelon over there. I'm guessing that the way forward is through here. Um, and if I fight this dude... Got ramen. All I'm gonna get is <laughs> all I'm gonna get is ramen, and also I can even just sneak past him. But then again, if I avoid strong enemies, I won't level up, and then I'll be weak. And then when I do need to fight strong enemy, I won't be strong enough to do it. So maybe I should fight him. All right, let's fight. Oof, you're big. You're big and scary. Okay. Let's start off. Let's have... Hmm. How do I want to do this? Do I want to make... Do I want to make airplane... Airplane shark thing happy? And then make everybody else sad? Or make Aubrey sad? Because Ar Aubrey is our tank? And sad beats happy? Well, let's try it out. Let's give it the old college try. Um... Okay, Omori. You make Aubrey sad. Yes. Aubrey. You give pep talk to Shark Plane. Everybody else do normal attack. Shark Plane chops Aubrey. Aubrey takes 38 damage. Oh my god. Jeez. Okay, we are going to need to heal her immediately. Mori reads sad poem. Aubrey is sad. Aubrey cheers on Shark Plane. Shark Plane feels happy. Oh my god, this is confusing. Why does this confuse me? Uh, what will Omori and friends do? I think Omori has the highest speed. So we are going to... We are going to use... Hmm. Granola bar or s'mores? If I do granola bar, it's gonna overheal her. So let's do s'mores on Aubrey. Aubrey, you continue to attack. Uh, and everyone else just attacks as well. 
I'm Whoops. next Joe Biden here. Sad the institution of Minecraft Monday came to an end. I hope Mojang listens. The underage new jump scare patch was bad idea. Thank you, Joe Biden. I think you said your name was. I need to I need to bring Aubrey back to life now. Fuck. Aubrey was everything. Aubrey was integral to all of this. Fuck. Now I'm screwed. Do you remember that one interview you did at a brony convention when you burped in the mic? I did? That video was lost to time. Well, if I burped in the mic, that doesn't sound very becoming of me. That sounds rather unbecoming. So if it's lost to time, then I'm glad. Fuck, how do I bring her back? Life jam? But if she comes back, is she gonna be... Is she gonna be sad like she was? I guess we just have to find out. I don't think she's gonna be sad. Oh my god, this guy does a lot of damage. There we go. Aubrey, you're back, but you're neutral. Fuck. Oh, and he only is... He's only at half health. Shoot. Um... Another snack. Another snack for Aubrey. Um, Shark is angry. Is Shark angry? I think I made Shark angry, right? I don't remember what I did. <laughs> Why are the fights in this game so damn annoying? Okay, uh... Happy beats angry. Aubrey, give pep talk to yourself. Everybody else attack shark. Pass to Aubrey. Aubrey knocks the ball out of the park. Mori uses granola bar. Aubrey recovers 60 hearts. Aubrey, Aubrey cheers on Aubrey, becomes happy. Oh wait, is shark happy? I thought it was orange, but is it yellow? Is yellow happy? Shoot. Fuck. I'm all fucked up. I wish it would just tell me. Okay, well, if Aubrey is accident, If I accidentally just made Aubrey happy... These are... <laughs> these are gonna be the most convoluted damn fights. If Aubrey is happy, then I need to make Shark angry. Kel makes somebody angry by annoying them. Okay, Omori... You do regular attack. Aubrey, you do regular attack. Kel, you annoy Aubrey. Um... Hero... You cook for yourself. Because you're at half health. So cook yourself a cookie. Make yourself a little cookie. Or wait, was I supposed to make the shark angry and not Aubrey? I'm going nuts. I feel like I'm losing my mind. This rock, paper, scissors bullshit is making me lose my mind. Oh my god. Okay. Omori... <laughs> Omori... You make shark sad? Aubrey angry. So shark must be sad. Yeah. It's almost dead anyway. Oh my god, this is so confusing. I am confusing myself. I am literally confusing myself. It's almost- it should be almost dead. Amori Max, reads a sad I'm poem. Curious. Amori was originally a 2011 Tumblr webcomic called Omora Boy, and look how far it's come since. Uh, yeah, I guess. If you were to adapt any of your past stories into a game, which one would you pick? Oh, none of them. I don't know if I've ever come up with a good story. I don't know if I've come up with a story that's worth becoming a game. Omori's party was victorious. You gained 180 XP. You got 23 clams. Omori grew to level 7 and learned mock. Hero grew to level 7 and got nothing. This rock, paper, scissors bullshit is gonna drive me nuts. And especially since I guess happy... I guess yellow is the happy color. But it, it's also like an orangish yellow, which makes it look kind of like red. This is gonna be so confusing. 
um, skills. Omori learned. Bread slice. If this skill defeats a foe, gain bread. Which I'm guessing I, I use for health. Mock. Deals damage if the foe is angry. Greatly reduces its attack. That could be useful. Um... Predicts who a foe will target next turn. That doesn't sound very useful at all. Or at least not now. Stab always deals a critical hit. Ignores defense when Omori is sad. Um, alright. Let's hit it. Kinda wish I didn't fight that plane, but I guess it's good XP. Kel is digging through trash. Kel finds a rubber band. What will Omori and friends do? Uh, you guys? Let's try to not make asses out of ourselves this time. Nobody is happy. Nobody is sad. Nobody is angry. We can all just do regular attacks. Pass to Aubrey. She's the strongest. Uh-oh. Hell becomes caught in mixtape. <sighs> we don't do a lot of damage to the computer, do we? Computer has high defense. Mori takes 18 damage in frustration. Uh, we're almost done. We're almost done with computer. Uh-oh. Omori, be Omori becomes caught in mixtape. Omori's speed fell. Kel attacks dial-up. I watched Pony.mov when I was 13. Since I was French, I barely understood it. <laughs> so I learned English to understand NG animations. Yeah? Now I'm fluent, thanks. Well, you know, they say French is the language of love. Um, I don't know why they say that. You know, with your super ability to speak French, you now basically have an easy pass to seduce pretty much any English-speaking girl. Because when they hear you speak French, ooh, they're gonna be very, very into it, my brother. Let me tell you, you are going to be very into it. We got plum juice. So don't speak English so well that you forget how to speak French, I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> Even though I don't think it works like that anyway. Is there somebody hiding in the trash? What is that? Nope, that's nothing. Okay. You got donut. You got jacks. You got candy. I see some light coming in through that crack in the wall, but I don't think I can interact with it. Um... Kel, can you shoot it? Nope. Alright, never mind. Ah, yes. The letter D for D's nuts. Add it to our hangman game. <laughs> it was not... It was not a letter that we needed to find. Okay. That's fair. Oh, I gotta turn on the light. To remember to turn on the light before I start streaming, not after. Got Meteor Ball, okay. What is Meteor Ball? It's not in here. Is it food? Is it important? I did not get Meteor Ball. Where is Meteor Ball? Can, glass bottle, cardboard, 
Dead Batteries, Computer Part, Jacks, Rubber Band, Poetry Book, Dandelion. That's toys, snacks, candy, chocolate, donut, ramen, plum juice, cherry soda, star fruit soda, lemonade. Important. Faux facts, emotion chart, self-help guide, flower puzzle. Um... Is it a weapon? Is it a weapon for Kel? It is! Improves my stats slightly. Okay. Coolsies? I guess that will make Kel slightly stronger. I don't want to fight that guy. I don't want to fight that guy. Um, it's down this way. What is this? Big block of cheese? Huh! It's no good. I can't even dent this thing. It's a giant block of cheese. Hmm. Hold on a sec. This is cheese, isn't it? It's, isn't it? Excuse me. Fumbled that. Whoa, you're right. It is cheese. Okay, guys. Hear me out. This might sound crazy, but what if we eat the cheese? We all start now. We can probably finish this in a couple of hours or so. Just a warning, though. Cheese gets me kind of gassy. Ew, Kel! Hold up, Kel. There's no need for that. I think I may have the perfect solution. Yeah, you would be so constipated if you ate that whole thing. Are you, are you kidding me? It would not be good for your digestion. Tag me, Omori. I just know how to handle this. Okay. Hero is the one who handles cheese? What are you gonna do to cheese? Call... Call mouse to eat cheese? Hello, friends! It's me, EMS, the humble, hungry hamster! Oh, wow! Is this all for me? What a treat! How did you know that cheese is my favorite? I don't have to guess, EMS. Everything is your favorite. Everyone, this is Emily the hamster. But I just call her e Well, I guess that might be M's instead of EMS. She is a good friend of mine. You know what to do, M's. I sure do! Be done in a jiffy! Oh, how sweet. How adorable. Whoa. How does all of that even fit in her body? It's me. I try not to think about it. That was incredibly satisfying! If you are ever in need of any giant cheese-eating services again, you know who to call! Good night, friends! That was kind of silly, but... Alright. Okay, that was weird. That was weird. That whole thing was weird. You got starfruit soda. Hmm. Sigh. How are we supposed to find anything in here? There's just way too much junk. Wait, were we looking for something? Well, originally we were looking for basil. Oh ho 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 ho! At long last, I finally found it! After countless hours of digging and digging, this one-of-a-kind, ultra-exclusive special mixtape finally belongs to me, Rosa, the number one sweetheart fan in the world. With this one-of-a-kind addition to my collection, I will finally surpass all those lame posers out there. Wait, sniff? Oh no, this special mixtape, it smells like doo-doo. <laughs> oh no, I smell like doo-doo. Hold on. Did she just say she found a special mixtape? That's what we've been looking for. Oh, yeah. Let's go get it. I can hear everything you're saying, you know. Just as I suspected, owning something so valuable is already getting me into trouble. Oh, ho, 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 ho! What's the matter? Are you jealous? This special mixtape is mine. I'll never give it to you. Not now, not ever. 
Hey, we didn't come all the way out here for nothing. If you don't give us that special mixtape, we'll have to take it by force! Eek! Such savage behavior! Violence never solved anything, you know! Humph! I'm much too refined for this nonsense! Farewell, peons, and see you never! Wait, come back here! Hurry, Omori, after her! We can't let her get away! Well, at least now we know who we're chasing down. Hot on the trail. You'll never catch me, stick legs. We're gaining on you, we're gaining on you! Give it, give it! Oh, oh shoot. Um, uh, where did it go? Where, 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 where? Here? Oh, I want that. You got TV remote, okay. Shoot, <laughs> where did it go? Where did it go for real? I really lost it! Oh no. Oh shit. Oh, watermelon. Got baking pan, okay. Hero learned snack time. Um, does that mean... Hero can equip pan? Yes. For better stats. You got can. <sighs> totally lost that stupid little rat thing that I was chasing. It's gone now. It's just completely gone. You got ramen. You got rain cloud. nothing in any direction this way. There's nothing down here. I might just have to backtrack completely. Oh, there's Marie! Whoa! <laughs> Jeez! Aubrey, take care of this. Aubrey, do your little smashy smashy thing. There you go. Roasted chicken. You and your friends feel like new. Okay. You got computer parts. I see you're keeping yourselves busy. I hope you're all having a fun adventure. If you're ever feeling weary, don't forget you can always rest up at my picnics. Big Sister is always prepared. Do you have any new info for us? Nope, you do not. Okay. Never mind. Maybe down this way? Do not cross. <gasps> there she is! Found you. Rosa, we finally caught you. Now give us back that special mixtape. Please be a boss. Is this a boss? I hope this is a boss. Hey, Rosa, can you hear us? Huh? I wonder why she isn't responding. Let's take a closer look. But it also says, do not cross. Hmm. Do I dare? Do I dare cross when it says, do not cross? Do I dare? I dare. I dare. Uh-oh. Downloading attack Omo. What will Omori and friends do? 99% of attack Omo completed. Hmm. Max, we've been screaming in chat this entire time. What? Don't go on without Kendrick Lamar. Also learn how to KEL Nuke. Also learn how to what? Learn how to kel nuke. I don't know what that means. And I also d I don't know what you mean when you say don't go on without Kendrick Lamar. Who is Kendrick Lamar? The name sounds familiar. I feel like that's a name I should know. 
And also, I'm fighting 99% of Attack Omo completed. Downloading Attack Omo. Attack dot Omo. What would you do if one of the enemies that appeared was a picture of you right now and all the characters said EW? What the hell is that? <laughs> I'd be offended. I would be offended and my feelings would be hurt. Pass to Aubrey. Aubrey is big strong. Who is Kendrick Lamar? Max, you need to get Kendrick Lamar. Is that a character in the game? That sounds like a, a, the name of a celebrity or something. A rapper? Yeah, it does sound like a rapper. Is the rapper in this game? Do I have to unlock rapper in the game? You guys are always trying to trip me up and confuse me. <laughs> I don't know if I should trust you weirdos. You know what, Omori? Why don't you give him a good old stab? Why don't you... Sadden yourself, Omori. Everybody else just attack normally. And then when Omori is sad... Then that's when Omori gets stabby. Omori reads a sad poem. Omori feels sad. Oh, I'm Omori. I'm sad. I'm a sad little Omori. Skill. Stab. Everyone else, attack. Where stabs down the window right in the heart. Uh. Mm. Oh, gee. Oof. Everyone just got. Everyone just got really hurt. Hmm. This could be bad. I wonder if I was supposed to have Kel throw something at Rosa instead of actually crossing the line. Attack? No, you know what? You can stab again. Or, ooh, you don't have the juice for it. Mm. Well, then you can't stab again, can you? But also, maybe I should worry about the fact that everybody has low health. But I don't have something that can restore health to multiple party members. Hmm. Max, what is your next live gameplay? Do you plan it out? Um, well, it's gonna be Wednesday, so it's probably gonna be a horror game. But we can return to Omori on Friday. I'm gonna have you give a snack. We're gonna what have is your you next live gameplay? Do you plan it out? It's gonna be a horror game and it's gonna be on Wednesday. We're gonna have you give a snack to Aubrey. Uh, and then the rest of the characters can just attack normally. Amori uses Donut. Aubrey recovers 45 heart. Look at Kel. Let's see what looking at Kel does for Aubrey. Aubrey looks at Kel. You can do better than that. I'll show you. Kel eggs Aubrey on. She becomes angry! Interesting. Interesting. Um... Amori attack. Aubrey attack. Kel attack. Hero. Snack time? Heals all friends for 40% of their heart. Oh boy! That sounds useful. It's gonna cost me a lot of juice though. I can't do it that many times. Let's try it out. See what happens. Please work. Please work. Please do something good. Snack time! Everybody gets a cookie! Hell yeah! Oh, Fuck yeah! I love cookies! Mm. 
Oh, I love fucking cookies! I love fucking cookies! Mmm, mmm, mmm! God, I love cookies! Okay, it's almost dead. It is almost fucking dead. God, I love cookies. I wish I had a cookie right now. Omori's well, party was victorious. There we go. Gained 404 XP. You got 42 clams. What just happened? Who cares? We gotta take back that special mixtape. You took the special mixtape from Rosa. Huh? What in the world? Hey, that's mine. Give it back. No way. It's Finders Keepers. We're putting this back in Space Boyfriend's boombox where it belongs. Hmm? Space? Boyfriend? You say? Oh, ho, 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 ho! oh, you ignorant child. Haven't you heard the latest news? I have a very reputable source who tells me that Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart have long since parted ways. Why do you think this special mixtape is in the junkyard in the first place? It's because Space Boyfriend threw it away himself! Space Boyfriend threw away the special mixtape himself? Uh-oh. Sweetheart, when we found... When we found that... That house with the girl in it who is, like, obsessed with the pop star, with the idol? With the Vocaloid idol or whatever it was, the VTuber? I think her name was Sweetheart. So that must mean that Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart... It, it must mean that Space Boyfriend was in a relationship with, like, a pop idol, right? Space Boyfriend threw it away... Threw away the special mixtape himself? Uh-oh, that's not good. But if Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart aren't together anymore, how will we ever wake up Space Boyfriend now? The future of the once great coalition of space pirates is depending on us. Hmph. That sounds like your problem, not mine. So, uh, this whole time we've been in the junkyard, we've been wasting our time. Great. Wait just a second. How do we know you're not lying about all this? You could just be trying to get this special mixtape back. Well, I... Never. I may be rude and pretentious, but I'm not a liar. Like we trust you. I think we'll just keep this special mixtape and see for ourselves. Now scram, you ugly plant creature. Go bother someone else. Oh my, so rude. You'll pay for this, stupid boy. Mark my words! Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here. Anything over here? Nope. Anything over there? Nope. This kind bar. Give me kind bar. Oh, that was cardboard. Get away from me, worm. Hey, do you ever find your art? You were looking for art, right? Alas, I have found art in the most unexpected place. The madam will surely be pleased. All right, good for you, man. Do not activate worm. Ah, <sighs> we've really done it now, dude. Pluto, come out, come out wherever you are. Who is Pluto? Who could Pluto be? Another member of the puzzle. Space pirate dude. Hold it right there! We finally found you, Pluto! There's no escape! That's Pluto? Damn. Oh no. My gigantic, well defined arms and legs are giving out. I can't let it end like this. I need to find a hiding place! Are you Pluto like. like the planet? Or like the former planet that's not classified as a planet anymore? Is that you? Hey, you there! <sighs> Please, lend me your assistance! 
Uh, huh? Oh, uh, well, er, uh, hurry! I don't have much time! You need a place to hide, huh? Aha! I got it! You can rest easy now. I got this all under control. Okay, that should do it. Shoot, they're coming. Quick, everyone act natural. Act like you don't have a mouthful of kind bar. Ugh. Dang it, we lost him. Hey, you kids. We're looking for a high-profile and very expensive rogue planet named Pluto. He's big, circular, grayish guy with huge, bulging muscles. Kind of hard to miss. Have you seen him? Uh, um... N no? Can't say we have. Really? Well, that's life. Come on, dude. Let's keep searching. I wanted to look for Basil today. I thought we were gonna get, <laughs> that we were gonna get close to finding him. Is this whole game just about finding Basil? Is that like the whole plot of this game? So you have to find, find where Basil went. Really? Well, that's life. Come on, dude. Let's keep searching. We'll find him eventually. Okay, sir. The coast is clear. I'm also noticing it looks like almost all characters are wearing their pajamas. So maybe this is this is like a dream world that they go to at night when they fall asleep. And if I remember, the last thing I did when I was in the real world before I went to Fruity Land is I went to I went to sleep in my bed. So all these characters might be dreaming right now. Gua! <laughs> is he evil? Such quick thinking! I'm impressed. You have my eternal gratitude. What are your names, if I may ask? I'm Hero, and these are my friends Aubrey, Kel, and Omori. I see! Fine names for fine young people! My name is Pluto, and I am a rogue planet. A vagabond, if you will. I do apologize for causing everyone so much trouble. But I feel that it is not my purpose to act as a mere yard decoration. A yard decoration? I want the freedom to roam the sky as I please, like the birds and the stars. That makes me a rogue planet, then so be it. They can call me what they please as long as I am free to do so. My soul yearns for freedom. You understand, don't you, children? Whoa, Kel, are you crying? <laughs> Such raw emotion. I'm touched. That was beautiful, Pluto. <laughs> you said it, Kel. Wait, you too, Aubrey? There's video games where you have to rescue someone. Why not a video game where you find someone? I mean, rescuing someone does involve finding them in the process. Does it not? Do you mean finding someone for the first time? I don't know if that would make a good video game. Now, at long last, I am finally free to follow my lifelong dream of running my own transportation company. I'm going to call it Pluto's Space Line. This realization has reinvigorated me! And since you have helped me in such a selfless way, I must return the favor. Ahem! I am Pluto of Pluto's Space Line now. Please pretend you have just arrived at a transportation station. Oh, okay. Uh, hello? Pluto? Greetings from Pluto's Space Line! Where would you like to go today, young travelers? Gah! Oh, was that too much? Hmm. I should try to tone it down. Let's try this again. No, it's okay. We'd like to just go back to the campsite, please. 
So you want to go to the other world campsite? Ah, my first request. How exciting. Oh no, excuse me. <sighs> so, excuse me, sorry. God, I get all burpy when I stream. Oh no, here it comes. <laughs> One ride to Otherworld Campsite coming right up. I won't let you down, young travelers. Leave the rest to me. Is everyone strapped in? Wait, hold on, I'm not ready yet. Greetings and welcome to Pluto Space Line. Where will your journey take you today? So you want to go to the other world? Yes, yes please. You got it. Now just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. <laughs> How was that for a smooth ride? Comfortable environment and relaxing music. I'd give it five of five stars. <sighs> Says you, I can't even feel my arms anymore. Kel, I have to say, you did a great job holding on for dear life back there. You have the potential to be very strong. Let me teach you a skill that might be useful in the future. Ahem. Repeat after me. When I flex, I feel my best! Now you try. <sighs> when I flex, I feel my... best? Whoa, that felt amazing! I'm pumped! I have a stupid voice now. Hmm, it could use a little work. But nevertheless... You've definitely got the power within you. Take this lesson and use it well. Hey, Max, long time fan here. Thanks for all the laughs. Hey, no problem. It's really nice to see these streams after a long day at work. Much, much love, love. I love you too. And thank you for the super chat. Farewell, children. Until next time. Kel learned flex. And what does flex do, I wonder? Kel deals more damage next turn and increases hit rate for his next attack. Cost 10. Okay. A floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly at you. Yeah, Hero is definitely wearing pajamas. Um. And the rest of the characters could be wearing pajamas. It's definitely possible. Yeah, Aubrey looks like she's wearing, like, a nightie. And then... Kel is wearing, like, uh, a tank top. Uh, oh, Omori is wearing a tank top, too. And shorts. That's something you could wear to bed. Would you like to save? Yes, I would like to save. Let's try going back to see that pirate... That pirate guy, the captain... Captain Boyfriend. Captain Pirate Boyfriend. We got your stupid mixtape. But we also learned in the process that you were the one who threw it away. Adding insult to injury. Well, I'll be. You kids really did it. It's a little dirty, but that's our missing special mixtape for sure. Thanks a lot, my guys. With this, we'll finally be able hey, to Max wake- been a fan since your Newgrounds days. Keep up the good work. Oh, well, thanks, man. You've been here for a long time. Thank you for the super chat. With this, we'll finally be able to wake up Space Boyfriend. Kel reached into your pocket and took out the special mixtape. Actually, about that, we might have some bad news. I'm Aubrey. We heard a rumor that Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart, well, that they broke up. B what? Did they really? For real this time? Oh no. But that would mean that there's no point in playing him the special mixtape anymore. It also means that I've wasted the last, like, two hours. All hope is lost, and I'm supposed to be looking for my friend Basil. 
Hey, Space Boyfriend, you've got your special mixtape back. Hmm. You can at least thank us. Oh, don't be so down, Space Pirate Guy. It's just a rumor. And even if it is true, it's not the end of the world. People get over breakups all the time. I'm sure Space Boyfriend will be back on his feet soon. He just needs some time to readjust. Oh, I know! I'll blast this special mixtape on his boombox! He's gotta wake up to that. In that case, we should probably get rid of that special mixtape after all. Listening to songs might be way too emotional for him. Give it to- give it here, Omori. I'll keep it safe. Hero reached into your pocket. Huh? Where is it? Kel has it, doesn't he? Doesn't Kel have it? Kel, what are you doing? Kel, no! Wakey, wakey, space boyfriend! Oh no. I've got a bad feeling. I've got a b -b 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 bad f -f -f feeling about this! What is that? I mean, it's not what I would call a certified bop, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Infernal Racket! Darn it, Kel, look what you did! <laughs> Fear me, for I have awakened! Hmph. One second. <laughs> Much better. Now, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Foolish children. I must thank you for bringing me out of that pathetic state. I grew tired of lying in bed, pretending to be sick. Like I always say, feelings are for losers. I agree, they are. That is very correct. That wench, sweetheart. She's going to pay for leaving me, as she should, as she should. I did everything for her. I gave everything to her. Everything, you hear me? That ungrateful little... Just forget it. Forget everything. I'm going to find sweetheart, and I'm going to make her Hey. Sorry, but we can't let you do that, Space Boyfriend! Or should I say... Space Ex-Boyfriend! Interesting. You want to challenge me? Do you even know who I am? I am Captain of the Space Pirates! I control all the planets in the solar system and have the ability to fly through space at will! The power of the entire universe is at my command. Blah, blah, blah. Talk all you want. We're not scared of you. If you plan on going around and causing trouble, you're going to have to get through us first. I just wanted to find Basil. How come none of us are talking about Basil anymore? Where is Basil? Basil is dying. He's cold. He's hungry. He's scared. Hmph. So that's how it's going to be. You still insist on stopping me. I'm afraid we'll just have to settle this the hard way. I'll take all of you on! Alright, I'll fight you. Fight me, earthly scum! Oof, look at this badass. Um, anyone want to do normal attacks? Or not. You know what? Let's start Omori. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Omori. You do sad poem for Space Boyfriend. Aubrey. Regular attack. So then Space Boyfriend will be sad. 
Aubrey will do regular attack. Kel will annoy Aubrey. Aubrey will be angry. And Hero. Hero, you do normal attack as well. We'll see how that treats us. Kel annoys Aubrey. And Aubrey, Aubrey becomes angry. Omori reads sad poem. Space Boyfriend becomes sad. Alright. Now everyone can attack normally. We did not do a whole lot of damage though, and that's a problem. Ooh boy, is that a problem. Maybe I can make other characters angry too? That might help. Kel, you annoy Omori. Make Omori angry. Um. And Hero, I want you to refill your juice, because you're running low on juice. Lemonade for Hero. Oof, you just got hurt. Aubrey looks at Omori. Omori does not notice. Aubrey attacks again. Hero uses lemonade, refills juice. Oh man, we still just have done nothing to him. Hmm. Alright, Kelly, you're gonna have to make everyone angry. <laughs> Everyone's gonna have to get angry. It's the only thing I can think of that might possibly work. Um... Can Kel annoy self? Is that even possible? Can you annoy self? Hero eat ramen. Oh, he made Omori sad. Shit. That's no good. Fuck, 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 fuck. Kel did anchor himself. That did work. That's good. Omori attack. Aubrey attack. Kel re annoy Omori. Um. I think Hero is like especially weak. So is there maybe like an item that I can use in place of attacking for Hero? Deals small amount of damage to all foes. Deals damage to a foe and reduces their offense. That could be good. Poetry book inflicts sad. That's not good. Rain cloud. Angsty water droplets inflicts sad on all friends. Dandelion has a calming effect. Removes emotion from a friend or foe. We're gonna go with rubber band. See how that does. Mori is out of juice. I think I'm doing this right. Thirty-five damage from rubber band. That is good. Um, okay, everyone is angry. Perfect. Love it. I love when everyone is angry. Um so everybody attack except for Hero. And Hero, I want you to cook for Amori. I want you to make a cookie for Amori. Space Boyfriend kicks Aubrey. It was a dull attack. Alright, that's fine. My rage cannot be contained. You cannot placate me. Alright. Oof, Space Boyfriend became angry. Uh-oh. Happy beats angry. Oh no, Happy beats angry. Hmm. This means I can either try to make everyone ang- 
where I can try to make everyone happy, or I can try to make him sad again. Right? Spaced ex-boyfriend can no longer become happy or sad! Fuck me in the ass! Oh my god, fuck me in the ass! Okay. Well then that means everybody has to be happy then. I have to make everyone happy all at once. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Shoot. 44 damage. Okay, Omori gets cookie. How do I make everyone happy? Do I have any items that can do that? Or any foods? No. Stack the emotions. Uh, is it necessary to stack the emotions, though? I haven't tried that yet, but I did see somebody online do it. Jax deals enemy to all foes. Enemy to enemy to enemy to one. <laughs> damage to one foe. Excuse me. Sad words strung together inflict sad. Um, and also inflict sad. As a calming effect, removes emotion from a friend or foe. Do I just use Aubrey? Is Aubrey my only method for making people happy? Alright. I'll only be able to make one person happy per turn. But as long as nobody's dying, that should be fine. Space ex-boyfriend looks wistfully away. You can do it! Hey, she's happy. Oh, but as long as Aubrey is making people happy, then she's not attacking, and she's my strongest... my strongest tank. She does the most damage. Fuck. What do? I still have so much damage to do to him. Yeah. Yeah, Aubrey, you have to continue making people happy. I'm sorry. You do not get to attack. Everyone gets to attack but you, Aubrey. It is more important that you make people happy. Okay, we have Omori happy, we have Aubrey happy. All we have to do is get Kel happy. Pep talk to Kel. Kel does regular attack. Um, do I want to do something different with Hero? Nope. Regular attack then. Space Boyfriend kicks Hero. We attack Space Boyfriend. Aubrey makes Kel happy. And we should be good. Everyone's happy now. We did it. Okay. Um, everyone can resume normal attacks. Oh, now... Now Aubrey is sad! Are you kidding me, Aubrey? Oh my god! Aubrey... Space ex-boyfriend. Gah! How are you still moving? I... I won't let you defeat me! Space ex-boyfriend became enraged! Shit! Normal attack for Omori. Aubrey, make yourself happy again. Give yourself a little pep talk. Rebound. Deals damage to all foes. Only one foe, not useful. Flex. Hell deals more damage next turn and increases hit rate for his next attack. Uh, okay, we can try that out. Um, hero, just a normal attack, I think. Mori takes 34 damage. 
Cal flexes. Mori does a normal attack. Aubrey feels happy. Good. Do we have him on the ropes? Is he on the ropes? He should be on the ropes. Yeah, he's on the ropes. We're almost there. Okay, good. Omori takes 36. Ooh, Omori's not doing good. Omori did not succumb. Well, that's good news. Okay, Aubrey, look at Omori. That allows you to get a second attack. Yeah. So many things to remember. Out of my way, earthly scum. This is your last chance! Space ex-boyfriend became furious. That's not good. Hmm. Oh yeah, he's almost done. <laughs> Omori, you look so damn happy for somebody who only has one HP! Look how happy he looks. Um, I'm going to give you a snack. I would have Hero heal you. But Hero usually goes last, so we're gonna have you have a snack. Um, 80% of heart. Is 80% of 66 more than 30? I'm gonna assume that it is. Uh, and everyone else attack normally. Whoop, is Omori dead? Everyone takes damage. Omori gets to one damage and then he doesn't die? How does that work? Omori uses ramen. Yes, 53, that is more than 30. Aubrey looks at Omori, attacks twice. Hero attacks. Oh god, Kel is toast, I didn't even notice that. Hmm. Do I keep fighting without Kel, or do I try to resurrect him? Because I think the only way to resurrect him is with a life jam, and I don't have any. Um... Yep, Kel is just done. Kel cannot be saved. Alright guys, one more push. One more push, you guys. He's close, just one more push. Come on, come on! 63 damage. Second attack. 68 damage. Even better. Yes! Uh, My heart! It hurts! Omori's party was victorious. Sorry, Kel. You don't get to share the victory. You gained 1500 XP! 208 clams! And you found an eye patch! Omori grew to level 9. Aubrey grew to level 9. Hero grew to level 9 and learn charm. Kel did not advance a level, as he is toast. Huh? Space Pirate is defeated? Huh? What happened? Where am I? Who are you? Hey there, how are you feeling? Oh, hello. I'm Captain Space Boy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, my chest, Oh, Oh no, are you okay? He got a little angry earlier, so we had to... Ah, I see. My other half must have gotten the better of me. I must apologize. Your actions were likely well justified. I just hope I didn't cause you all too much trouble. I've been having a hard time controlling my emotions lately. I try my best to keep them all at bay, but it's becoming much more difficult. Sweetheart, she was the love of my life. It's almost impossible for me to imagine life apart from her. I guess I'm a bit lost. This special mixtape is full of mine and Sweetheart's favorite songs. I put so much love into making this for her. Thank you all for returning it to me. This is still full of precious memories after all. Uh, it's no problem. Well, not too much anyway. 
Yeah, we're glad to help. You just go ahead and get some rest. I'm afraid no amount of rest can truly heal a broken heart. I must find another way to get over this. Maybe you could help us find our friend Basil from Amori. Captain Sp- I mean, Space Boyfriend! I am so, so, so sorry, but I have very, very terrible news. Your favorite planet, Pluto, has escaped and we can't find him anywhere. Don't be mad at us. We're sorry. P please be gentle. There he is. Or there's the hole where he used to be. <sighs> ah, I see. It's okay, you two. I'm sure even the planets get bored turning slowly all day. Uh huh? Really? So you're not angry at us? Do you mean it, Captain Sp- I mean, Space Boyfriend? I sure do. Gather the rest of the crew. Let's go to the frozen lake and get some snow cones. Resting in bed may not fix a broken heart, but eating snow cones with friends may help. Also, you don't have to call me Space Boyfriend anymore. I'm Captain Space Boy! Wait, what does this mean? Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. The captain is back! I can't wait to tell everyone! Let's go, dude! Right behind you, buddy. Don't forget to fight the planet Earth in the hall. Uh, okay, is that something that I can do? I can't thank you enough for what you've done. Who knows what would have happened to me and my crew if you didn't all show up? Aw, it was nothing. We're just glad you're feeling like yourself again. You have my thanks. If you ever need anything from me or the Space Pirates, please don't hesitate to ask. Actually, can't believe I forgot about this, but we're actually looking for our friend, Basil! There we go! He wears a flower crown and always carries his photo album on him. He's kind of a little pansy. Have you seen him? He's so soft, he can't survive in the real world. We're very worried for him, on account of he's so damn soft. No, I'm afraid I haven't. If I do see anything, you'll be the first to know. Basil, from Amori. Where could he have gone? Sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh, please don't cry, little lady. Here, take this. You got a snow cone ticket. Uh-oh. Please, little lady, don't cry. Uh, here, take this too. What do we get? What do we get? It better be good. You got a train pass. I used it to travel around on trains when I was a child. Long before I became a space captain. If even I can go from traveling on trains to flying my own spaceship, I'm sure you'll be able to find your friend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I sure do miss my friend, Basil. Basil from Amori? Hey, Captain, you ready to go? Everyone's waiting for you. Ah, yes. Hold on, I'm coming. You must keep your hopes up, little lady. If it gets too hard to bear, try eating a snow cone. It might make things a little easier. I mustn't keep my crew waiting. Good luck with everything, and thanks again. Oh, and I got the F key. Your bond with your friends became stronger. Everyone's follow-up moves improved. Okay. And I thought this stream was gonna be all about Basil from Omori. We've barely even discussed Basil. It's like we all it's like we all just forgot about him. Nine keys left. Those same red foot pr footprints on the ground. Don't know what they're meant to, uh... What they're meant to represent, but alright. Recycling machine. What would you like to recycle? Everything!
can only recycle things once at a time, huh? So if I want to recycle something else... Shit. Just do one at a time. Dead batteries? Twenty clams, okay. We'll do one more. Computer parts. Only because I have a kind bar to eat. Um, should we go talk to Marie? Oh, a cutscene is doing it for us. Well, how beautiful. How serendipitous. Hello, everyone! How's the search for Basil going? Well, Marie, it seems that we've taken a little detour. Just trying to help those in need, you know? Look, Marie, I got a snow cone to get. Well, that's very nice, Aubrey. Thanks. Marie, look what I can do. <sighs> That's very nice too, Cal. I know, isn't it? There is official Omori art of Sweetheart in lingerie and a bikini. And she also had a body pillow for sale at one point. That's sold out now. Uh, okay. I don't. I, I don't think I've met that character yet. I've heard them refer to that character. Is she a hot babe? I'm hoping she's a hot babe. I'm hoping she's not another child. There must be something we're missing. Do you have any leads, Omori? <laughs> Why would Omori have any leads? There is official Omori art of Sweetheart in lingerie and a bikini. And she also had a body pillow for sale at one point that's sold out now. Maybe Basil had to go somewhere important in a rush, but where would he have gone? And why wouldn't he tell us about it? I just hope he didn't end up in any trouble and that he's somewhere safe. I literally have no more leads. Now I literally... I, I have zero idea of where to go. Like, truly none. Is... Is that him? Is that Basil? Hang on, I have, to, I have to save. Hang on. That might be him. I followed the footprints. The red footprints just do seem to lead me to Basil. Let me, uh, let me, let me juice up first. I've seen those red footprints before. Squidward is losing it again. Squidward? We got it to get Basil back. Squidward's not in this game. I wish he was. How come there's not a Squidward RPG? Cheap. The world campsite, cheap. Cattail failed. Are you Basil? Or are you an illusion? What are you? Well, I guess we follow him. Oh, it's snowing. Probably not this way. But it is giving me a cutscene. Watermelons are my favorite part of summer. You can actually eat them any time of the, of the year. They are nice, though. They are delicious. I do love a watermelon. I can't fault you for that. And I guess they're a summer food. You enjoy them in the summer. Basil! Basil, is that you? Basil, stop running from me! Basil, we're trying to find you. Marie's cookies. Marie's cookies have much more love baked into them 
I could eat them forever. What's happening? Why is it getting so serious all of a sudden? It's with all these memories. Okay, which way did he go? Left or right? More memories? We're still young. We should dream big, right? Maybe. You know what they say, shoot for the moon. If you miss, you'll land amongst the stars. There he is, Basil, stop! Basil! Basil, we're trying to help you, bud. Come on, don't be like this. Basil, your parents are worried sick. Do you have parents? Did I find it? Did I find him? Is this it? Is this finally where I meet the Basil? There's nowhere else to run, Basil! Don't, don't, don't escape into a painting. Oh, shoot. What now? Now I'm in the painting. But disconnected. Uh oh. Oh, it says reconnection successful. Um. Okay. I have green square again. That should be fine. I once again have green square, but I lost, I got red square instead of green square for like one second. Sheet music on a music stand. All the notes have been scribbled out. Can I see that photo? Happy family. Sheet music on a music stand. All the notes have been scribbled out. Interesting. Uh-oh. Oh no. What happened? Shit, back here again? <sighs> Your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Yeah. Any new scary drawings? Just that one. Hmm. Can I can I not use my laptop to to look at my uh, my vlog anymore or my my blog? I guess vlog would be video. Meow, waiting for something to happen. Well, I guess I have to stab self. Pitch black inside. Can't see a thing. Oh, you know what to do, Omori. Get it over with quick. <gasps> oh. Max, remember when you said Aubrey, the literal child, had a fat ass? Good times? Well, you know, children can have fat asses too. Did you see it too? I don't know, what did I see? I see Basil. Something behind you. Three days left. Until what? Until fucking what? Oh, it's Pukas. Good morning, Pukas. Hell yeah. I return to Pukas. Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. An old computer. Do you want to play blackjack? Not really. You have a new message. Hey, Pukas, it's Mommy. How are you doing? Are you eating well? I was hoping that I could make it back to see you today, but it's the last day of a big furniture sale and I just can't resist a good bargain. You can take care of yourself for a few days, right? 
After all, you're a big boy now. Remember to finish your chores before I get back. I left a list on the table next to your door. <laughs> next to your door, excuse me. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzzzt. If you love me so damn much, then why are you always leaving me alone? I called Chris Hansen to your door. You can you can't just say children have fat asses. You know, I was a fat ass child when I was a child. I was always fat. Even when I was a kid, I was fat. Hi, Pukas. This is a note for Mommy. Luckily, I never got stuck in something Winnie the Pooh style. <laughs> you know, I was fat, but un... Uh, uh, fortunately, I guess I was... I was spared that little indignant... indignity. I'm gonna brush your teeth every day. Do you want to brush your teeth? I guess if I have to. You brush your teeth. Your breath is now minty fresh. Any of you guys ever get stuck in something when you were a kid because you were too fat to fit through? God, that's gotta be embarrassing. go in there. Oh, he doesn't want to go in there. Oh, I can't run. I'm not allowed to run in the real world. Microwave. Refrigerator. Open it. Empty. Something I realized about, uh, about the last time I was playing this, the last time I was in this area, the voicemail from mom said that the power was out, but also the microwave worked. So why did the microwave work if there was no electricity? Hi, Pukas. This is a note from mommy. If you leave the house, remember to look both ways before crossing the street. Okay, I guess I'll finally check to see who's at the door. Hello? Hello? Pukas, are you there? Do you remember me? Well, if I'll go away. Scoop. It's your old friend, Kel. Oh, let me guess, another demon? So I, uh, I noticed the for sale sign in front of your house. And I, uh, heard from my mom that you were moving away soon. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out one more time before you go, or whatever. For old time's sake, you know? You're a demon. You're a demon. I went through this with Marie. You are a demon. What would you like to do? Open the door. What's the worst that could happen? Alright, it's bright. A bright sunny day. <gasps> Kel! You're all grown up? You're definitely taller. Face looks the same, maybe. But you're definitely taller. Are you all grown up? Am I all grown up? Whoa, you actually came out! Hmm. Guess we're only little kids in the dream world. Uh... I, I mean... Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, Pukas. I really didn't expect you to come out today, so I don't really have a game plan here. Hey, I know. Let's go to Hobbies. It's the hobby shop in the Faraway Plaza. You remember the way, right? We used to go there all the time when we were kids. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Alright, me and Cal all grown up. Pinwell blows freely in the wind. Sure it does. You shouldn't walk in the street, Pukas. It's dangerous. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Wait, hold up, Pukas. No, I want to pet that dog. I know it's been a while since you've been over at my place, but now night might not be a good time. <laughs> I just want to pet the dog. Well, let me pet the doggo. Whose place is this? Not 
knock. There's no response. Empty birdhouse filled with sticks and dust. Plastic flamingo decorate this yard. They seem to be in good spirits. Hmm. Whose house is this? A statue of a religious figure. You feel as if it is judging you. You know, the iconic religious figure, of which we are all familiar. Black trash can is for trash, the blue trash can is for recyclables, and the green one is for nature stuff. Knock, knock. No response. Okay. So, Kel, this is the real world. We're not in Fruppy Land anymore. <laughs> Who are you? Are you a preacher? Uh, actually, maybe this is not the real world, because there are still monsters here. These are real, actual monsters. Oh! Oh. Maybe there aren't? Oh, okay. Well, that would make sense if this is the real world, that the monsters would not be real. Hmm. Curious. Are you a preacher? I'm on my way to the church, but it's a ritual of mine to take a quick stroll before delivering my sermons. I've had horrible stage fright ever since I was a child, but a scenic walk always seems to calm my nerves. Cool. <sighs> Drink apple juice. Have you ever heard the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? The same concept applies to apple juice. Apple juice supports hydration. Well, water is better for that. It contains beneficial plant compounds and may support heart health. It may also protect your brain as you age. There are no downsides as far as I'm concerned. Life's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here helps me put things into perspective. I might make it a habit to come back to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes is to relax. All it takes to relax is to stop and smell the roses. That's definitely true. Nature can help you relax. An artist is diligently sketching away. Whoa, that's a cool drawing of the park you have there. Ah, oh, hi there. Thank you, I'm just practicing. That's what you call practicing? But it looks so real. I bet you could even sell that for money. Don't you think so, Pukas? Eh, probably not. Oh, Pukas, you're such a kidder. He's just joking. Your drawing looks great, really. I didn't say it wasn't great, I just don't know if you can sell a sketch of a park. Heck, I'd buy that from you right away. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hey, Pukas, can you lend me 20 bucks? <laughs> Thanks. That's so nice of you, but it's not for sale. It It's for my portfolio. I'm trying to get into art school next year. Oh, darn. The blue one, the blue one for, for nature, nature stuff. stuff. Obviously, Obviously for, for the, the plug to, to collect, collect on, on April 20th, 20th if, if you, you get, get my meaning. meaning. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, darn. That's too bad. That would have looked great on my bedroom wall. You really think so? My name is Mincy. What's yours? I'm Kel, and this is Pukas. Hi, Kel and Pukas. It's nice to meet both of you. It's nice to meet you too, Mincy. Huh? Huh? What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. You're the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself, and it gets hard to move my pencil. No way. I don't believe that at all. I really think your drawing is great. I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years. So don't be so hard on yourself, Mincy. Me and Pukas believe in you. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I just gotta shake off those bad feelings. I'll, I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. That's the spirit. See you around, Mincy. You got this. Tetherball pole. Smells like rusty metal. Hmm. What are these guys? We are recycultists. Followers of the Holy Bin. Recycultists. That's kind of clever. I like that. As all have littered, all must accept that they are trash. <laughs> Reduce, reuse, and recycle. 
R-E-C-Y-C-L-E, recycle. C-O-N-S-E-R-V-E, conserve. Don't you P-O-L-L-U-T-E, pollute the river, sky or sea, or else you're gonna get what you deserve. The stench of this man is indescribable. What you making that face for, bub? Is there something on my face? So long, weirdo. You got trash. I don't want trash, though. But I don't want trash! Oh ho ho! Hello! Cough! <laughs> Yuck! Yuck! Ahem! Today is such a beautiful day, don't you think? I may not have any money, but at least sunlight is free! That's the spirit. When I was younger, my family used to go to this park a lot. I remember there being a lake with a statue in the middle, but I can't find it anywhere. That's a shame. How much for the soda in the real world? A vending machine. Oh, I don't even get to buy it. Okay. Going to the hobby store. Was that a nickel? You found a coin. Going to hobby store. Other Mart. Gino's. Is this like an Italian place? Come on, Pukas. Let's go to hobbies first. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, it is Space Captain. Is he just an illusion? He is probably just illusion. Oh no, he's a decoration. He's a fictional character. Well, here we are at Hobbies. It's probably been a while since you were here. But it hasn't really changed all that much. It's all the same old stuff. Captain Space Boy games, sweetheart movies, a few pet rocks. Except now they're vintage. Actually, since we're here, I should probably buy a gift for Hero. He's in college right now. <gasps> he is? Everyone's all grown up. But he should be coming back sometime tomorrow. He's studying to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him some medicine? No, that's a horrible idea. You should help pick out the gift, Pukas. Let's look around and see what there is. Um, we could buy him a stethoscope. Chock full of comics. Looking through these comics brings back so many memories. Just like old times, huh, Pukas? Hero was never too interested in comics, though. Alright, so we won't get him a comic. Colorful girl. That's the girl! That's the girl from the comic book store that I have a crush on. With the blue hair, remember? This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of old and rare collectibles. People even come in all the way from the city to shop here. A game called Captain Space Adventures. Captain Space Boy's Space Adventures. Cost one dollar to play. Hey Pukas, let's get Hero's Gift first. We can play later. What does he like? Does he like Space Boy? Cardboard cutout of Sorry, Captain Sorry, I'm late. Hope you have a good day, smiley face. Thanks, I hope you have a good day too, friend. Thanks for the super chat. Some colorful CDs. Maybe you could play them at a jukebox. These CDs look pretty cool, but I think Hero would appreciate something more sentimental. Let's keep looking. Bunch of small figurines. I've always been fond of these little guys. Hero would get mad at me for spending my lunch money on them, though. Let's not remind him of that. Well, what does he like? Chock full of DVDs. A lot of these DVDs are catching dust. I'm sure we have most of these somewhere at home already. Probably also catching dust. Whatever this is. A new video game called Super Ultra Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Moles 3. Rated M for mature, huh? That's too violent for Hero. He definitely won't appreciate something like this. Um, NES? Old video game console hooked up to a TV. I already have this console, Pukas, and I don't think I can afford it, too. My, fa my favorite novel just got a comic adaptation. But the main character looks nothing like how I imagined him. Oh, I'm sorry. I think we've all been there poster for a new game where you can travel across different worlds. Nothing you haven't seen. Let's talk to the guy uh, running the joint. 
Let's talk to the shopkeep. Kel, how have you been, buddy? It's been a while since you've been since you've come around, hasn't it? That's it. No conversation. Hmm. What about these? This. Yes! This is perfect! Papa Chips chip off the old block cookbook. Now that's a mouthful. Hero had a copy of this when we were kids, but our dog Hector destroyed it. I thought Hector was your rock. He's gonna be so happy when he sees this. But before that, we need to ask the most important question. How much does it cost? Hmm. $20? This is extortion! Shoot, I left my wallet at home. Uh, can you spot me, Pukas? $20 is not that bad. I went to Carl's Jr. last night, and I got the new sourdough uh, burger that they have. I got the sourdough double combo, which comes with fries and a soda. It was like $16.50 for a sandwich, fries, and a soda. Can you believe it? $16.50. So expensive. Fast food is getting expensive. Thanks, friends. I knew I could count on you. I can't afford it anymore. You took Hero's gift off the shelf. Hey, shopkeep, we'd like to buy this cookbook, please. Kel, how have you been, buddy? It's been a while since you've come around, hasn't it? Yeah, you already said that. Ah, that's Papa Chip's Chiff off the Old Block cookbook. I see you have good taste. Yeah, my brother used to follow his recipes all the time. His cookies were my favorite. It's rare that I see another fan of Papa Chip's work. That'll be $20, please. Thank you, kind Max, sirs. A 99 what were you about to say? Why did that one get cut off for no reason? I'm 99% sure you meet a certain character that you've made some comments about. I'm not saying anything, but choose your words wisely. Because next time it'll be the FBI. What character did I make comments about? Was it Sweetheart? Thank you. Thank you, kind sirs. Please enjoy. You got Hero's Gift. Thanks a lot, Pukas. I bet Hero will love this. You know what? I'll just stop making any kind of lascivious comments about any of the characters in this game. A bunch of small figures. But me saying Aubrey has a fat ass was not meant to be a lascivious comment. It was meant to be an insult. Post for a new game where you can travel across- Oh, I already read this. This has been read. Poster for a new game where you can run around and fight evil monsters on skateboards. An interesting poster. Wow, the monster in the poster looks so realistic. I'll bet fighting that would be a tough battle. Will you challenge the monster to a battle? Uh, no. Alright, what do you want to do now? So, where do you want to go now, Pukas? Guess there's not really much else to do around the suburbs, huh? Oh, how about the faraway park? Yeah, the park! You mean the one we were just at? We passed it on the way here. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Just two teenage boys going to the park. I wanna go to Gino's though. I wanna <laughs> I wanna go to the Italian place. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah! I could spend all sorts of time here. Are you Gino? Is that you? No, you're old beardy. Hey, kiddos, you caught me on my break. I've been trying to decide what to eat for a good 10 minutes. But I don't know why I'm fussing so much. Whatever I get is sure to be good. Gua! <laughs> Hello and welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I get for you? Tasty soda, orange Joe. Kel's favorite soda, orange flavored coffee. Ugh. Orange coffee? Well, we can't afford anything. You know what? Just for you, Kel. I'm gonna buy these sodas. Uh, and next time I have an opportunity, 
I'm gonna give you one of those sodas. So, I see you were peeking at that Help Wanted poster that I put there. Are you interested in a job? Eh, not right now. Oh, okay. If you're ever in need of some pizza money, just let me know. Interesting. An arcade machine. It doesn't look like it's working. My wife keeps telling me that I'm getting chubbier and tubbier. But I just can't help myself when we live so close to delicious food like Gino's Pizza. Oh, mmm. Pizza. It is good. It is good, that pizza. Hello, hello, my name is Gino. You're the Gino? I know what you're thinking, and no, I don't own this place. Whoop! But they give me fr they give me a free whole pizza for my birthday every year, so that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Wish I could get a free pizza on my birthday. Uh, okay. To the park we go! Is that... Basil? Wait, don't go, please! That looks like Basil. Sorry, dude, I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh-oh. There's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. Is that Basil? Is that Basil? This ain't none of my business. If you got beef with her, then talk to her yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait, is that... Please be Basil, 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 please be Basil. That's Basil! Yeah, baby! All right, we can get rid of the stupid Drake. Oh, how do I get rid of the damn Drake? The Drake is gone! We have found him! Basil located! Hell yeah! That's Basil! Leave him alone, you bully! Huh? Who's there? Basil, 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 Basil! Oh, it's just Kel. Grumble, grumble. Why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? Psh! Well, aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? Oh, here come the big kids. Just leave Basil alone. Why is everyone always picking on Basil? Who the fuck are you? Ugh. I am not impressed. Oh, that's... Is, is that Aubrey? Oh, hey, Aubrey. This nerd Kel just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Kel, what do you want? Stop messing with Basil. Is Aubrey a bad girl now? Did Aubrey join the dark side? No, she wouldn't. I thought we were all friends. How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Pukas. Pukas is here. Oh, Pukas is here. Wow, it really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? Must have been nice to live on your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. Hmph. Whatever. Aubrey, please, listen to me. So we're all older in the real world, but it does kind of seem like we're still acting like little kids. And how old are we specifically? Are we teenagers now? Did we go from like age 10 to age 15? Something like that? Hey, stop that! Leave it alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. Maybe I did pick the right <laughs> the right voice for Aubrey, if, that's, uh, if, if this is how she's going to behave. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Ugh, Pukas. Come on. You've got to do something. Ha ha ha. Are you guys really picking a fight? 
Maybe we are. Sure, why not? The two of you against me? How's that sound? Come at me. I'll take on both of you. Aubrey, we used to be friends, but I will fight you if you hurt Basil. If you hurt Basil, I will not hesitate to take you out. I will not hesitate. What will Pukas and Kel do? Uh, ooh, I should have I should have bought more snacks. Ooh, do I have my real world skills? Or or do I have my Fruity Land skills in the real world? No, it does not look like I do. Encourage Kel encourages Pukas, raises Pukas's attack. I mean, it's two against one. It's two against- how, like, how, how could this possibly go? One girl cannot defeat two boys. Kel attacks Aubrey. Aubrey takes 27 damage. Aubrey headbutts Kel. Kel takes 69 damage. Jeez. Aubrey takes 69 damage from Pukas. Gah! What the- Is- Is that a knife? Oh, Pukas has a knife. Look out. <laughs> Did he stab her? Oh, shoot. Aubrey, are you okay? You're... You're hurt. I... I'm fine. No, you're not. You're bleeding. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. Ugh. I'll get you back for this. Yeah, you can run your ass on home. I will not tolerate any bullying of Basil. It will not be tolerated. Whoa, that was about to get really messy. Good thing you had your knife there, or we would have... Wait a sec! Give me that! Kel took away your steak knife. You shouldn't be carrying things around like this, Pukas. That's dangerous! Sigh. Aubrey's really changed since last you saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. Well, so much for my theory about Basil being dead in the real world, because I guess he is still alive. Let's check if he's okay. Basil, we've been looking for you for, like, hours. Are you okay? Hey, Basil, how are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you, Kel. I don't know if you noticed, but Pukas is here too. Say hi, Pukas. Oh, hey, Pukas. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Woohoo! What a happy reunion! So, did you want to hang out with us today? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I should probably head home. Huh? Really? Are you sure? My, um, my grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. God, I wish I knew how to turn off those stupid fucking steam alerts. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, let us at least walk you home. It's been so long since we've all hung out. Oh, uh, all right, then. Thank you. Which way is Basil's house? This way? No, not this way. Hmm. Oof, it's so quiet. This way? This way? Ooh, I see a wormhole character. If I touch you, will you disappear? Yep, you are not real. That's not the way to Basil's house, remember, Pukas? It's on the street that's diagonal from ours on the crosswalk. So... This way? Ooh, a cat. Oh, this is- that's Basil's house! Oh, I recognize Basil's house. That's gotta be Basil's house. There's Basil's house! It's that one with the green roof. Basil, you and your flowers. Um... Thanks for walking me home. No problemo. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. 
Uh, okay. Oh, Basil wants to talk. Wait! Please don't go! Uh, I mean... I... I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil. What do you need? <laughs> well, you see... Something important was taken from me. Is it your dick? Well, when we used to be friends, do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember. Those photos meant everything to you. Ah, uh, right. Well, Aubrey... Ooh, that bitch. Ooh, that bitch. She took my photo album and... Aubrey stole your photo album?! Well, she... she won't give it back. What a scumbag! That is scumbag behavior. Don't worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Pukas got you covered. Uh, okay. Thank you. By the way, about what you said before, about not having a dick, <laughs> we're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Aww. Okay. I'm glad they still get along. I don't know what happened to Aubrey. I don't I don't know why she turned over to the dark side. Well, I'll see you later. Basil, Max why are you acting alerts so weird? can be turned off in the settings. I've tried looking for those settings before. I haven't been able to figure it out. I've been getting steam alerts my whole damn life cuz I've tried figuring it out and I can't I can't find the setting. You know what I should do is I should just Google it, really. Come on, Pukas. There's no time to lose. We've got a photo album to find. Let's check Fairway Park for clues. Okay. That fucking bitch, Aubrey. I can't believe it. She used to be one of the good guys. How could she turn evil? Why? Why, Aubrey? Why turn evil? See vibrating tree. Also, this guy is new. Hmm. Looks like Aubrey isn't here. Oh wait, I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. Do you know where she is? He's not gonna tell us. You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil, and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? Oh, is she in the tree? Is that her? Who, what, and where now? What'd you do that for? Ah, if it isn't Kel and that weird knife guy. We're the adversaries for the great and mighty angel. Finally, it is time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I will tell you what I know. But first, you must best me in battle. Oh boy, here we go. B battle But I don't want to punch a kid. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on! Let's sick him, Charlie. Have at you! Oh, I don't want to fight Charlie. Ooh, Charlie big! Charlie big! Charlie a big boy! Dang. Okay, we're gonna have... Omori, you attack Angel. Kel. You drink an Orange Joe. I think that... I think that will restore your health, maybe? Kel uses Orange... Nope, it recovers juice and makes him happy. Shit. The orange juice and coffee combination created a questionable flavor. Yeah, you can say that again. Angel swiftly strikes Kel. Kel takes 11 damage. Angel takes 16 damage. Um... I could use the first aid kit on him. But it heals 150 hearts, so maybe I should wait. Until he loses some health first. Th 
35 damage to Angel. Charlie just standing there. 17 damage to Angel. Heh! <laughs> you surprised me, Kel! You would make a worthy rival for my master! I think Kel can take one more hit. Yep, I knew it. And if we take out Angel, will Charlie want to fight on his own? Or would he not be interested in fighting anymore? Okay, Kel is good as new. Attacks Angel 15 damage. Angel, <laughs> you, you'll pay for this. Charlie, dot, dot, dot. All right, that wasn't too hard. How could this be? My training was all for nothing. Ow, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully. You literally started it. You are the bully. <sighs> okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. Hmm. A promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. But oh, this game is long. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in faraway town, probably. Dang it, Angel, you better not be messing around or else. I told you I'd tell you what I know. And the truth is... I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now, or else I'll tell everyone about that time you wet your bed at summer camp. Ooh. Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha. What? You can't do that. That's cheating. Anyway, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. The... The Maverick? Oh, no. You mean that weird kid, Mikal? Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offense to that. I see. So, it is him. Where can I find Mik- I mean, the Maverick. I'll tell you what I know, but you'll have to fight me first. Or I can tell everyone about the time you- Gah! Okay, fine, I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. He said he was going to meet some girls there for a date or something. Ugh, disgusting. Come on, Pukas, let's go to Faraway Plaza. I think we're done here. I literally, literally just came from there. Is it this way? Okay, a date. Where would you go on a date? A grocery store? Yes! Everyone knows that nothing is more romantic than grocery store. Or not. Can I go that way? Yes. Oh, pharmacy. Okay. Grocery store with attached pharmacy. Interesting. We all know the pizza at Gino's is delicious, but is it a good date spot? Um, you said you have a wife. Are you McCall? No, you're Rye. I'm Rye. I take pride in being a musical connoisseur of sorts. If you play a CD on the jukebox over there, I bet I can tell you who the artist for, sh for the track is. Okay, we're not really interested in whatever that is. Hmm. Is this it? Is this the date? The Maverick. And then I told him, it's not Maverick, it's THE Maverick! Oh, the Maverick, you're so funny. Ho ho! Wow, what an amazing story, the Maverick! Girls, girls, please! There's enough of me to go around! Mikhail, what are you doing? Ah! If it isn't Kel, my arch nemesis. 
Finally here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Mikal. Mikkel, however you say that dumb name. Mikhail. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? S stop calling me that! I cast away that name a long time ago. Mikal, do you know where she is or not? Again with that godforsaken name. How dare you make a fool out of me? I, the Maverick, will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I'll wipe the floor with this loser. Please, I've seen Mikhail. the footage, Max Gilardi. You've seen the footage of what? You've seen the footage of my dingling, and it made you feel better about your ding <laughs> your dingling. <laughs> Please, McCall, don't do this to yourself. I'm going to ask one more time. Fight me, you wad! Don't be a chicken. Sigh. Are we really going to do this? Okay then. Come on, Pukas, let's take him down. So much fighting. Oh, this guy's badass. I like it. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> The Maverick. Oh, Kel, you pitiful fool! You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. I will attack. I will attack you. I will do it. Maverick hits Kel. Kel takes 17 damage. Kel attacks the Maverick. Maverick takes 33 damage. Maverick takes 12 damage. It's gonna take a minute. It's gonna take a hot minute. Maverick smiles seductively. Kel falls. That's no good. Did you fall permanently, or do you get up? Hmph, not bad. But this fight's just getting started. Maverick takes 13 damage. We're doing more damage to him than he is doing to us. That's good. We have no healing. So we're just gonna have to... We're just gonna have to take him out before he takes us out. Kel feels angry. Maverick takes 45 damage. Heh, as expected of my rival. But I must tell you, while you were fooling around and playing sports, I was honing my techniques just for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. Maverick takes 12 damage. Okay, he's about halfway done, so we should be able to take him out. Especially now that Kel is angry, I think. Angry, attack up, defense down. So now that, now that Kel is angry, he does more damage. Ha! Is that all you've got? I've only been using 10% of my power! Behold, my final form! I bet you're you're regretting your decision now. Uh, this form doesn't really look all that different from your last form. I'm just way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser. Pukas attacks the Maverick. Come on, man. Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. You know we're gonna kick your ass. Kel attacks the Maverick. The Maverick takes 37 damage. It's only... It's only a matter of time before you tire yourself out. My victory is imminent. Pukas attacks the Maverick. I didn't get to see the damage, but okay. See, that's why I, l I wish it would let me hit a button to advance the battle text. Why, oh why, won't it let me do that? So that I could actually read it and not have to miss a bunch of it. Uh, I'll admit, I'm impressed, but you're still light years away from defeating me. The Maverick takes 12 damage. Uh, uh, no, this is impossible, improbable, absolutely inconceivable. The footage is horrible. I can't believe you do this, Mr. Gilardi. Well, believe I'm it, so pal. Angry. Like really, really angry. You have no idea what I'm capable of. I've done such horrible things caught on film. 
Ugh. Ugh. No, I won't let it end like this. Ugh. No, it can't be over for me. People of Earth. Lend me your strength! Is he building a spirit bomb? Uh... Ew, what is with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth $10. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Ladies, please come back. Ladies don't like it when you try to build a spirit bomb. They're very <laughs> unimpressed by that. I have more money! Shit. <sighs> oh, did he have black hair? Is he wearing a wig? Mikhail. There is no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell me where Aubrey is and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is, and I'll tell you, on one condition. You must call me by my true name, the Maverick. Oh, forget it. Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her and Vance are major sugarheads, so I have a hunch that they'll probably be somewhere near Candy. Who are you up here? Wow, that boy with the blonde wig is so cool. I wish I had his confidence. Okay, Candy. Where can we find Candy? We got trash. Need to find Candy. Any candy in the park? Yo, it's, Yo, it's Badass bad Boy again. Hey, what's up? Well, well Max, Max, you're still going. going. Yeah? Uh -huh. Did, Did you, you find, find Basil, Basil yet? I found him in the real world. In the real world, Basil is safe and still alive. Which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting Basil to be dead in the real world, but he's still kicking. Oh, he's still kicking, that Basil. Don't know where Basil is in Fruppy Land, though. Still have yet to solve that mystery. A bunch of poor people houses. Ooh, what's this I see? You wanna go this way? Damn, whose house is this? The Lord's. This is the Lord's house. Far away cemetery. Hmm, looks like they're setting up for a sermon. You don't really want to spend your last days here hanging out at a church, do you? Um, maybe I do. Maybe if I want to worship the Christ Yeshua. Aubrey's old blue... Old blue bike. Okay. I think we want to go into these houses. We're looking for... Maybe a candy store? I'm guessing a candy store. Basil's house. Uh, more houses. Hmm. This way? Nope, can't go that way. This way? Another illusion. Do you have candy? Red glasses, lady. Let me tell you a story. I was walking back from Fix It after making a purchase with my hard-earned money. Max and board of this game, can we kiss? Uh, no. Kissing would be more boring than playing a video game, surely. When I look down, and lo and behold, my brand new garden shears are missing. Yes, it's true. My new garden shears tore a, tore a hole open in my plastic bag. Oh, how silly I felt just then. Do you think you could help me find them? It should be somewhere around here. It, it, it won't be my prime concern. If I find them, if I find them, I can bring them back to you. Um, but no promises, because it's not my prime concern. 
<laughs> Excuse me. Sorry to impose, but you look like some trustworthy people. Do you think you can help me? I need to pick up this week's medication at the pharmacy, but I'm feeling a bit weak at the moment. I usually send my daughter Charlene, but she's not here right now. Would you be so kind as to pick it up for me? No! Oh, I see. In that case, I hope my daughter shows up soon. <laughs> candy. Where do I find candy? Is there a candy store? Is there a pile of candy? Oh. Here are the garden shears. Got your shears, lady. What's in it for me? You gave garden shears to Red Glasses Lady. Oh, thank you, boys. I'll be sure to never make such a silly mistake ever again. It's rare to see young Unlike boys. Them. I'm having a great time. Oh, good. Kisses. Mwah. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, it's rare to see young boys willing to help a stranger these days. Feel free to come to my house anytime. You will always be welcome. What about right now? What do you got? Lady, what do you got? Got a TV? Bunch of books. There's gotta be something in here, right? This is the same layout as my house! Hello, anyone home? In here? Yoga mat. Yoga is good for you as it strengthens the connection between your body and spirit. At least that's what mom told you once. Hello. Snip, snip. Snip, snip, snip. Oh, hi there, you two. I didn't expect you so soon. Look here. Caring for these bonsais is a hobby of mine. It helps me. Relieve stress. After this, I'm going to start preparing dinner for my children, Kim and Vance, tonight. They better not be late again. Or else. Snip, 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 snip! toilet. Kel does not come into bathroom with me. Ball? Can I get that? Nope. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of... Let's, let's no longer be in a stranger's home. Swag. Swag indeed. We need candy. Where can we find candy? Where's candy located? Have I gone this way? This way leads to my house. This is my house, right? Yeah. Where to go next? Nope. These are the poor people houses. This not right way. Can't go any further in that direction. Hmm. Can you just tell me? I won't tell you where Aubrey is unless you call me Maverick. Can we just call him Maverick? That might be easier than trying to find candy. Candy in here? Hmm, this is hardware store. Are you actually insecure about your supposed weird pen 15? Uh, what no. makes a pen 15 weird? No, I'm sure my Aren't they all kind of weird? They are all kind of weird. That's the joke. The joke is that everyone who has a penis is probably self-conscious about their penis being weird, but in reality, they're all just weird. I'm sure mine is probably pretty normal, just like I'm sure that yours is probably pretty normal. Nobody needs to worry about their penis. You can't change it anyway, so why worry about it, you know? We all have the bodies that we were born with. They can't change. Is that Basil with a girl? Basil? Basil? With a girl? Basil, you have girlfriend? Oh, never, never mind, just an illusion. We all know Basil is gay. <sighs> I 
Maybe there is candy section in supermarket? Candy section in supermarket. Produce. Soda. More produce. Ice machines. Candy! Here we go, baby! Oh, and that's Sweetheart. Hmm. We've all seen the footage. We've all ascended the rest and submitted to the light beacon to complete our session. Okay. Hmm. Knowing Kim and Vance, they're probably somewhere around here. Oh, hey, there she is. Let's shove it in all of our pockets before someone sees us. Hey, shoplifting! Hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey any wha- Shoot! It's that nerd, Kel! Come on, Vance, we gotta go. Whoa, hold on there! I don't think you paid for those. Get out of the way, nerd. You don't know me. Hey, hey, hold on! I'm not here to snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? Uh, I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. I think the reason this game is so long is just because it, <laughs> it has a lot of filler. Like for the last hour, we've just been trying to find Aubrey. We just keep running around and like, we'll find a lead and it will just send us in another new direction, but we never find her. I think, I think maybe this game could have been trimmed down slightly. Maybe, maybe just a tad, maybe a smidge. Like, if we want to find Aubrey, let's find Aubrey already. Oh, I've had enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. I thought you said you weren't a snitch. Hey, it's Sweetheart. And I don't need to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. Miss Candace. You two again? I thought I told you to never come back in here. Smiley, smiley. Uh-oh. Hand over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you kids, smiley smiley. We've been busted. Fine, here's your stupid candy. Now they don't have to tell us where Aubrey is. Come on, Vance, let's get out of this dump. Haha, <laughs> serves you right. No, Kel, we needed them for information. Wait, how will we find out where Aubrey is now? Uh, come on, Pukas, let's follow them. Where might they be? Hold up for one sec, Pukas. I think I have an idea. Just gonna buy some candy. Sorry for the hold up. Let's go catch up to Kim and Vance. We're gonna have to wrap up soon, you guys. I've been going for like four hours now. I do enjoy this game. But I am getting sweaty and tired. Oh, that one guy has a beard. Does he have a beard or is that his mouth? It looks like he has a little goatee. Grumble, grumble. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. No, not... Are these supposed to be teenagers? I don't know if this is how you write teenagers, being obsessed with candy. No, not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're gonna die. Uh, let's just go home. We're gonna be late for dinner. Tell us where Aubrey is and you get the candy. Wait, Kim. I have something for you. You again, Kel? What the heck do you want, bully? Tell us where Aubrey is and I will give you this whole big bag of candy. R really? The whole bag? I mean, wait. You can't buy us off with candy. Who do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week. And there's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. Can you at least ask if he has a <laughs> if he has any taffy in there? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we go to Dad's house, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay, I'll do it for you, sis. Kim, Vance, I'm waiting. Heh. <laughs> like we'd accept candy from a, a bunch of nerds. Oh, man. Really? I was sure that would work. This is such a waste of time. Let's get out of here. W wait Please, Kim. You're the only lead we've got. Please take the big bag of candy. We... We even have taffy in here. 
Did someone say Taffy? I see. That changes everything. <laughs> Fine. You really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fists. If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. But if we win, you give us that big bag of taffy and never talk to us ever again. Wait a second, there's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you this whole bag. But I want to fight. Come on, put them up, you two. It's time to duke it out. <sighs> what is it with you guys and fighting? Well, I guess we have no choice. Come on, Pukas. You know the drill. All right, last fight of the day. He does have a beard. I guess these are just teenagers who are obsessed with candy. When I was a teenager, I don't think I was obsessed with candy. Kim, I'll show you that size isn't everything. I'm not about to lose to nerds like you. Uh, Kel, you are about to die. Fuck, we might be in trouble. I don't know if we can win this. Kim takes 36 damage. Kel feels sad. Great. Kel takes 11 damage. That's not that bad. Kim takes 14 damage. Start by taking out Kim. So that way we only have to focus on one character. Your face annoys me. Rude. Hurtful. Kel lost 12, du 12 juice. He's down to one hit point. there's always the possibility that when we take out one, the other one won't want to fight anymore. I think that's what we have to hope for. 35 damage to Kim. Grumble, grumble. You're still nerds. Okay, she's gone. And there goes Kel. Kel killed by Vance. It's down to, uh, Pukas versus Vance. Punch versus punch. gonna be boring. I'm just gonna be exchanging blows. I can't beat him! I can't beat him because he's just stronger than me. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Heal some heart to calm down. Try that. Relaxus, give me strength. Oh, there we go. Okay. Still have to fight without Kel's assistance. Vance throws old candy. Ew. This is gonna take forever. Once again. I feel... Yeah, I'm just doing nothing to him. I'm so weak compared to him. Yeah, seven damage, that's nothing. And I have to keep healing. My calm down. Shit. I can't win. I can't win. Vance scratches his belly. Ew. I can't win. I can't win. No, I can win. I'll figure it out. You're at half health, Vance. Ouch, that hurts. Okay, okay. I'm gonna calm down, I'm gonna calm myself down. 
I can win. I can do it. Max, it's okay to throw the fight. These fights don't matter. I, but I want to win, though. I can take him. I can take him. I just have to keep calming myself down. Keep doing my square breathing. Vance scratches his belly. In through the nose and out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Max, it's okay to throw the fight. I can These beat him. fights don't matter. I can beat him. In through the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I knew there was a way to beat him. I knew. He's on the ropes now. He's on the ropes now! Oh, I'm sad. Why did I get sad? How did I become sad? Please do not throw candy at me. Almost there. Keep up with the square breathing. In through the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And... did I get him? Dang! All I wanted was some taffy! Ha ha! Yes! Square breathing wins the battle! Fuck yeah! Grumble, 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 grumble. I can't believe we lost. We can never let Aubrey know about this. Just tell me where she is! Come on, Kim, we gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner and Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Shoot, let's get out of here. Wait a minute! Where do you think you're going? We won! You need to tell us where Aubrey is! Oh, yeah, that's right. We don't know? Are they gonna say we don't know? Aubrey's at church. The one near her house. Huh? Aubrey's at church? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who wanted to know. Who just got that dog? <laughs> She's got that dog in her. Puka's got that dog in him. Oh, Puka's got that dog in him. Also, if she asks who told you, tell her it wasn't me. Say it was Mikhail or something. Come on, Kim, we gotta scoot. You know how Mom gets when we're late. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Let's go. Smell you later. Nerds! Okay, I want to go to the church before I, uh, before I wrap this up. I want to see what Aubrey's doing at the church. Aw, oh, nuts. They took the big bag of candy while I wasn't looking. Those two have got some sticky fingers. Oh, well. At least now we know where Aubrey is. Or at least I think we do. I can't really imagine Aubrey at church. But I'll believe it when I see it. Let's go find out what she's doing. Is she praising Yeshua? Is she worshiping at the altar? At the altar of the Lord? Oh, Aubrey, here comes the Aubrey. Hello, Aubrey, 
welcome. There she is. She's at church. Well, here we are. This really is the last place I would expect her. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. Might be a trap. I'll open the door a little to take a peek. Hmm. Looks normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh! There she is on the right. Hmm. She's just sitting there. All normal. So weird. Worshipping Christ! Yeah, I'd feel pretty bad about interrupting this. Should probably wait until the sermon is over or something. Okay, well, how long is that going to take? Hold on, Pukas. Let's wait here until the sermon is... Okay, well, how do we trigger the sermon being over? Aubrey's old blue bike. Far away cemetery. Statue of a religious figure. You feel as if it is judging you. Waiting for church to get out. Boy, I can relate. Do you want to go into the church? Uh, yes. Okay, so we weren't supposed to wait. Whoa, I didn't expect you to just walk in like that, Pukas. It's a church. You can just <laughs> you can just go inside. It's allowed. Well, there's no turning back now. Come on, we have to be really quiet. You know that we're allowed in church, right? No reason why we're not allowed in here. Maybe you aren't allowed. I don't know. You know, maybe you're excommunicated. I don't know about you. But I'm an innocent child of the Lord. There she is on the right. Let's walk to the pew behind her. You guys know about how I'm an innocent child of the Lord. You guys are always saying that about me. Aubrey! Psst! Aubrey! What the? What the heck are you guys doing here? I didn't know she had pink hair. I thought she had black hair. Everybody has black hair in Fruby Land. We want you to give back Basil's photo album. You're still on about that? That's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We all used to be best friends, but now this is none of my business? Yeah, Cal, exactly. We used to be friends. You know, Marie would be really sad to hear that. Should have saved Max, you are screwed. Why? 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 <laughs> Why? Oh no. Huh. Really? You really want to bring Marie into this? Who cares what Marie thinks? Marie's dead. <gasps> my sister's dead? But she was a demon outside my front door. How did she die? When did she die? Oh no. I guess that... I guess that explains why she's so synthetic in my dreams. Remember earlier I was saying that in my dreams she seems like there's something wrong with her? Like she doesn't seem like a real person? Shoot. Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get that you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. So that's what this is all about? When Marie... passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple. You've always been simple, Kel. He is simple. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him. It's important to all of us. That doesn't mean you can just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? That I'm I'm the one keeping it safe? What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to Basil, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. 
Ugh. You're so persistent. When Marie died, you moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Kel. A lot changes in four years. You and Pukas think you can just barge back into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive. You might look different and act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. Humph. The Aubrey you knew is long gone, and the Aubrey that was your friend, she's long gone too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want here, I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Marie. No, I won't accept this. Wait! Where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise you'll give Basil his photo album back, you thief! What's happening? Oh, everyone's looking at us now. Basil? From Amori? <laughs> Isn't that the boy who... I've seen Aubrey and her friends bully. Now she's stealing as well? I think they're talking about Basil. You know, from Amori. Oops. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Cal? And I'm the big bad bully. Here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with the psychopath who carries around a knife. Is that me? Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me to be the bully, then I'll be the bully. You two better come at me quick, or I'll come at you first. Okay, we are about to die. Oh, you can't fight in a church! This is sacred ground! And we have no health! This is sacred ground! Everyone knows you don't fight on sacred ground! Shoot, what do I do? Quickly cast Word of Healing? I don't have anything called Word of Healing. I have Encourage. And I have Guard. Um, and Omori... Omori has Calm Down. Shoot. <laughs> Looks like God's looking the other way on this one. Um... Is it okay if I can't win this fight? Because me and Kel have such low health. I can't fathom how we could possibly be beat this. That's Sunny, not Omori? No, that's Pukas. Pukas needs to teach Kel how to calm down? Use calm down, then have Kel guard. Okay. It's something to try. Um, I just think we're toast. I don't think we can win. <sighs> Square breathing. Aubrey headbutt headbutts Kel. Oh, there goes Kel. Look at her clothing. It's completely inappropriate for church. Uh, I kind of have to agree. I don't think you're supposed to... <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to be showing midriff at church. You might be a little too young to be wearing that anyway. I don't know about the mid the midriff and the miniskirt, Aubrey. Well, there goes Kel. So much for guarding. That did nothing. Um, Pukas can attack. Oop. Nope. There goes Pukas. <laughs> Serves you right, Kel. Now, leave me alone. Is that a game over, or... Nope. Story continues. Ever since her father left, she's so uncontrollable. Disrespectful. 
I feel bad for her mother. Everyone's whispering about her. Ooh, she doesn't like that. We couldn't beat her. Shoot. I know she's been kind of messed up lately. But I still feel so sorry for her. I still fear s <laughs> feel solly for her. As they would say in Japan. Maybe this was a bad idea. <laughs> Everybody in the church is just looking at us. Get out of here, preacher. We're doing the sermon now. So, we all believe in the Lord. Yeah, we all agree he's pretty great. Yeah, yeah, we like that guy. You know who we don't like? Satan. Boo. We hate that guy. Asshole. All right? Yeah, yeah, okay. We're all on the same page. Lord good, Satan bad. We know what the deal is. Huh. <sighs> God, I like this game. I like it a lot. There are parts where it's a little too slow, but when it's good, it's good. When it's good, it has me really, really hooked. I think I like Omori, you guys. Guys, I think I, I am an Omori fan. Is that her house? Yep. Oh, she doesn't have a nice house. She lives in the poor house. Aubrey, can we talk? Can we talk, Aubrey? Please? Did you see that? Aubrey just dumped something into her trash. Let's go check it out. Whoa, I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked into the, looked through this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now. And it only took us half a day, too. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Pukas? Do you want to high five Kel? You know, normally, as I've told you guys before, I do dislike the institution of the high five. But in this instance, I feel like Kel really needs it. So he will receive a high five from me. Let's give this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. Knock, knock. There's no response. Man, what happened to Aubrey? Aubrey, what happened? And what happened to Basil? How come he's not our friend anymore either? Knock, knock! Basil! It's your friends, Kel and Pukas! Oh, that's not Basil. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, wait. You're not Basil. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Caretaker? Why does Basil need a caretaker? Oh, hey, Cal. Does Basil have cancer? What's wrong with Basil? Basil, what's wrong with you? Why do you need a caretaker? I'm glad the Basil stream is your longest relax with Max stream yet. Is it? Well, I think Basil deserves it. Something's wrong with that kid. He's soft. Basil, you're soft. Basil, how many times do I have to tell you you're soft? You need to toughen up. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Oh, hey, Cal. What is it? Hey, Basil. You got your photo album back. Huh? You did? Wow, thank you. You gave Basil back his photo album. Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dunk my head in a toilet, Aubrey. <laughs> okay. I don't know if Aubrey would do that. Um. Well, she does seem like a juvenile delinquent recently. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Come on, Pukas, free dinner. I think we're about ready to wrap this up. Just one more scene. Just a, just a dinner with Basil. Please make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. 
<laughs> yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came here more often. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Yep, that's Basil for you. Flowers and photos. Oh, that reminds me. Now that we've got your photo album back, we can all go through the photos together. Ah, uh, that's... Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. It's been a while since you've looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Uh, uh, um, uh, sure, okay. Gum, 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 gum. Here it is. Oh my gosh, actual memories of the real versions of us. This is us for real. My first photo. It's my best friend Pukas trying out his new violin. Best friend? Pukas and Basil were best friends? He's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister, Marie. Ooh. That didn't end so well. Just Kel being Kel. So many party hats. Pukas playing a video game on the couch. Pukas is a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. Back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match. We all know who's going to win. Please go easy on him, Hero. Oof. Sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing to Hero in arm wrestling last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Me showing Pukas a book I've been reading. Marie stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. It's all of us cuddling with Pukas' stuffed animals. He has so many, and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. That one looks like one of our dream photos. Marie is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Pukas and Cal holding Marie's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Marie thought so, too. This is also... This one is definitely from the dream. This looks new. What does this one say? It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. I guess that's why she dyed her hair pink. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Just Kel being Kel again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel was getting all getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging by his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was as fearless as him. That one we've seen. That one we've seen. This is new. We buried Pukas in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's going to need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. Yay, Pukas is turning 12 today. Even though me, even though me, Pukas, Aubrey, and Kel are in the same school year, Pukas is younger than all of us. Okay, that's... Okay, so Pukas, Aubrey, Kel, and Basil are all the same age. All right, can make a mental note of that. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Basil, you're the baby. Puka's holding a super huge present from Mary and Hero, or Mari, or Marie? Who knows? Hmm, I wonder what it is. You can't really tell from the photo, but Marie and Hero got Puka's a giant building block set. Puka seems much more interested in the box, though. He acts just like Marie's new kitten, Muo. That's a weird name for a cat. Pukas won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. I guess this box will be Pukas and Muo's new home. 
You mean like white space? We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel, ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Pukas is here too. He looks kind of sleepy. Went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself by accident, but I don't believe him. That's from the dream. It's Aubrey. It's the first day of school today. Me, Pukas, Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. Oh, they're friends. Sigh. Goodbye, Summer. Until next year. Great photo album, dude. Quality stuff. Are you done looking at the album? Yes. Oh, man. It looks like a lot of the photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. I'll have to get those back later. On the bright side, look how short I was. Haha. <laughs> I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. Can't wait until he comes back. This year, I'll finally be the taller brother. Hehe. <laughs> Anyway, don't sweat it about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Pukas will take care of things for you. You just focus on going back to your happy, carefree self. Okay. Thank you. I'll try. Dinner time? Sorry about the wait. Dinner is taking longer than I thought. Would any of you boys like to help? Yeah, sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. Oh, that would be lovely. Please, follow me. The kitchen is this way. Oh, hi, Pukas. Bathroom. Basil's bedroom or the caretaker's bedroom? Where are Basil's parents? Hello, who are you? And what is this flower? A white egret orchid, if I'm saying that right. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Oh, Pukas, I didn't expect to see you in here. <laughs> Is this your dying mother? Uh, how are you doing, Pukas? Is everything okay with you? Okay, never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know. She hasn't been feeling very well lately. It's already been four years, Your hasn't it? movie series was so inspirational to me as a high school weirdo who didn't feel like he had a place in his own home. Thank you so much. Uh, no problem. Glad you enjoyed it. Thank you for the super chat. And thank you for joining us today. It's nice to see that you're still around. Even if it's only for a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? I just think... You can probably use it more than me. Basil gave you his photo album. Basil, are you sure? A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but... I think, at the time, I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Flipping through this album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. Pukas? Basil? Dinner's ready! Okay, coming. Basil's grandmother is breathing steadily. <sighs> Basil, what is your deal? What are your secrets, Basil? I know there's something there's something weird about you. There's something important about Basil. I can just tell. Polly and Kel's homemade dinner. Would you like to eat some? Yes. After we eat, I'll save and then we can be done. Everything tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just following Grandma's recipes. Thanks for your help, Kel. Munch, 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 munch. 
So as I was saying before, Polly, tomorrow, my older brother Hero's finally coming back from college. My mom's all crazy right now, preparing the house and everything. Don't don't want to be anywhere near that mess. Although, I am pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. This year is the year that I'm finally gonna be taller than him. I can feel it in my bones. You guys like my Crash Bandicoot Wumpa Fruit sound? <laughs> <laughs> you and your brother seem close. That's good. Family is important. Oh, hey! What you doing with Basil's photo album there, Pukas? He gave it to me. Oh, I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Whoa, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since Pukas is moving away and all. What? Pukas is moving? Oh yeah, I thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. He's moving in three days, I think. Yeah? Sorry, I thought you already knew. <laughs> I don't know if Basil's gonna take it well. Oh, uh, no, I guess I must have missed it. Sorry. Um, may I be excused? I... I have to go to the bathroom. What kind of a boy wears a flower in his hair? What's up with him? Well, that's just how it is. When you gotta go, you gotta go. True that. I have always famously said that. Should I walk in on Basil in the bathroom? Basil, what's wrong? Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Basil, did you know your eyes are glowing? <laughs> oh, it's you. Pukas, you're here. I'm so glad. You... You can see it too, can't you? Something... Behind you. Wait, please, Pukas, don't leave me. Not again. I, just, I didn't mean to leave. I didn't actually mean to leave. Go back in, go back in. Nope, I will go back. <gasps> Fuck, why did I leave? I didn't know I was gonna get locked out. Shit. Um. Something's wrong with that boy. You know, there's a, let me tell you, that boy, he ain't quite right. Let me tell you, that boy ain't right. That basil ain't right. Oh, hey, Pukas. I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. So, yeah. Anyway, Polly, if you ever need me, here's my address. I live just down the block. Thanks, Kel. You're sweet. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Say goodbye to basil for me. Alright, I'm going home. I'm going home for really the for realsies this time. For really realsies. So, Kel, I went into the bathroom, and Basil was in there, and there was a weird spidery shadow, and his eyes were glowing, and it was all very normal. So that's what happened. That's what you missed out on. This is your house, right? This one? Wait, hold up, Pukas. I know it's been a while since you've been over at my place, but now might not be a good time. Okay, we'll just go to my place then. Hey, Pukas. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while. But that's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, Hero's coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before you leave. So, if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Pukas. Sweet dreams. What now? God, I wish the story would reach a, a, a place where I feel like it's a good natural conclusion for, for today's stream. But things keep happening. For example, my house filled with spiders.
Pukas, get knife. Oh, Pukas, you and your... Whoop! What was that? Pukas, you and your home filled with spiders. Can you cut down cobweb? Nope. Oh, you can. Good. Now I bet... I bet if I go to bed... I will wake up in Fruppy Land. I bet. I bet. I bet. Ooh, I bet! I can get to the top of these stairs. Ow! Can I get to the top? Can I get to the Come on, come on. Let me to the top, let me to the top! I want to end the stream, come on! I don't want to fight a giant spider monster! Things keep happening! Come on, Pukas, you can do it. Pukas, you're so close. Ow. There we go. Fear demon. I know you. You're the demon of fear. Are you demon of fear? <gasps> Is it Marie? Please don't be Marie. It's Marie. Fuck. So... Oh, so, just found out you're dead. <laughs> Max, save early, save often. Well, now I have to fight something. I'm sorry, but now I have to fight Giant Spider. What will Pukas do? Pukas will fight. Pukas is not afraid of anything. Something entangled Pukas in a web. Can't move. Pukas has attacked something. Pukas has attacked did nothing. Something is trying to talk to you. Max, save early, save often. It's too late. 21 damage to Pukas. My attacks do nothing! This is getting nowhere fast, huh, Pukas? 16 damage. Where's my speed? Entangled in web. Speed reduced. It seems like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things and figure out what's important. You clear your mind and remember how to focus. Ooh, I have a new thing. Clear mind first, yeah. I have a new move I can try. Let's try focusing. Pukas focuses. Now what? Oh! It is just one tiny little spider. And I squish it. Ooh, jeez. Ooh, that was spooky. Ooh, I didn't I didn't like that. Okay, never mind. Going to bed now. Oh, I cannot wait to wake up in Fruppy Land. Very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes. Um, why is there a ghost in my room? That looked like a ghost. That's not the ghost of my sister, is it? Basil, no. Basil, don't leave me. Oh, back into white space. Oh my gosh, I have to get dinner. 
I'm running so late today. I've been streaming for almost five hours. Come on, back to Fruity Land. Come on, give me that Fruity Land. Welcome to White Space. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. Okay. I need to save, though. Hey guys, we're all kids again! And we're all friends! Aubrey, you're not a bitch anymore! Aubrey, did you know you're a huge bitch in the future? <laughs> did you know that in the future you go to- You go to church with a baseball bat with a bunch of nails sticking out of it like a weirdo? See, hero, I told you not to worry. Omori always shows up when we need him. Is everything okay, Omori? We were worried about you. Now that you're here, let's go out and look for Basil. He's counting on us. Be patient, Cal. We have to make sure that Omori is okay first. Or maybe you and Hiro can go yourselves. Uh, I'm mostly okay. Come on, Omori, let's go exploring together. Just the two of us. Hey, you can't leave us out of this. He's right, Aubrey. We have to do this together as a team. You never know when you'll need someone's help. We're stronger when we work together. Hmm. Well, Mori and I will be fine on our own. You'll protect me, won't you, Omori? Ew, gross. Get a room. Come on, Aubrey. It's time to get serious now. Let's go tell Marie that Omori is okay. You know how she's always worrying about him. Okay, okay, fine. I was just trying to have a little fun. Do I get allowance from Snake? I do. S going out, Omori? S here is your allowance for the day. 750 clams, yeah, baby! I'm almost at a place where I can save. Almost there. We are gonna get a cutscene first, though. This game is very story heavy. That's why it's so long. It's not long because I'm doing a lot of battling. It's long because there's so much story. Hey, Marie, look, Omori is here. Omori. Stop disappearing like that. You know, my heart can't take it. You're dead. You're dead in the real world. Hmm, so there's still no sign of Basil. Where could he be? We're not sure. We've been looking for him everywhere and still nothing. <sighs> I hope Basil is okay. I miss him so much. Yeah, I miss hearing him talk about all the stuff he's into. Like all the flower stuff, and the photo stuff, and the art stuff, and the reading stuff. My hair is so tangly. I miss when Basil used to brush my hair. Omori, will you brush it for me? Fuck no. Well, I miss when Basil used to remind me to wash my hands. Look, they're so dirty. Ew, Kel. You should probably wash your hands anyway. Everyone, I know it's tough right now, but we have to stay positive. We should all try to be like Basil. Even when Basil is upset, he always manages to smile. So, is there anywhere you haven't checked yet? Well, there's a forest west of the stump, but it's gross and full of spiders. Ugh, spiders. Well, you know what that means. Once again, it's time to face your fears, little brother. And that means you too, hero. Come on, big bro, you can't back out now. It's just like how it is with Omori. We're here to support you all the way. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Don't worry, guys. If anyone or anything tries to hurt you, I'll smash it out of the way. 
You can count on me. And don't forget about me. I'll always be here if you need help, too. Yeah. Yeah, we can do this together. Let's go to the forest west of the stump. Lead the way, Omori. Finally, let's have some candy. Yeah. Let's save at the picnic basket. Yeah. Seven hours and 50 seconds. That's how long I've been playing this game. Now, if it's, tw if it's 20 hours, that means I have, what, 13 or 14 hours to go? <sighs> but... That's gonna be it for today, folks. And you know what that means. Oh, you know what that means. That means... <clears throat> it's time to wind things down. We had a few good laughs, my friends. Played some Omori. And although now the fun must end, I hope you see what you mean to me. You're all my neighbors and allies, and though it's time to part, as we traverse through lows and highs, I'll keep you all inside my heart. Rare Omori variant. Sorry that it's time to go, but we can still share one more song. It's because I love you so that it hurts to say so long. Red and yellow, black and white, you're all precious in my sight. But it's time for us to say so long. The rare Omori variant. Where I say we played some Omori in the song. Not bad. I think this might be the longest I've ever streamed ever. Nearly five hours. Actually, you know what? We've got about 60 seconds to go. Let's just let's just wait out the clock. Roughly 60 seconds. How did you guys all enjoy today's stream? Please eat something. I'm going to eat something. Don't worry. I'll, I'll go make dinner after this. Wish it could go on forever. Oh, we all wish it could go on forever. We all wish that we could just relax with Max for eternity. Please finish game. I'm gonna try. I don't know how entertained you guys are by watching me play Omori. I really don't know. Um, but I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun playing it. What you feel like having for dinner? Uh, well, tonight I'm having chicken fajitas. So that should be pretty good. Um, I hope I have, I hope I have some thawed chicken. I'm not sure if I do. Ten, nine, eight... Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, five hours. Five hours on the dot. Welcome to a five hour relax with Max. We're here. We did it. That wasn't that hard. I see how the other streamers do it. That was not that hard. That was easy. Easy peasy, no big deasy. Five hours, damn. Of course, I'm sweaty enough. Gonna have to immediately go change my shirt. Got these big pit stains. 
I'd like to take a moment to encourage you all to consider joining my Patreon, which now has over 10 years of updates. For just $5 a month, you can get access to useful resources for artists and animators such as source files, presets and tutorials, and the link is in the description below. And if you're not interested in the art stuff, but you'd still like to support what I do, you can become a channel member right here on YouTube and get access to exclusive emotes in the chat. And thank you uh, for the super chat I just received. Another super chat for five hours. Go have a nice din. Well, I will. I'll have a nice dinner of chicken fajitas. <laughs> That's going to be it for me, folks. I'll see you on Wednesday. Uh, I don't think we're going to be playing more Omori, but we can play more Omori on Friday. So if you're waiting for more Omori, that's when it's going to be. And thanks to everyone who joined us for this stream. Thank you so much for inviting me into your home and allowing me to spend the afternoon with you. It's been an honor and a privilege. And remember, I am close personal friends with each and every one of you. So long. <laughs>